Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, before we go ahead and get jumping into tonight's story, we have some announcements to get through. Uh, first and foremost, uh, tonight's episode is sponsored by our fantastic friends at Marvel Puzzle Quest. <laughs> Marvel Puzzle yeah, Quest is. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> Returning to be uh, awesome friends of the show and friends and Sam, do you have anything you want to say about it? <clears throat> we love Marvel Puzzle Quest and they love that we love them. In fact, Puzzle Quest had a bunch of critters come up to their booth at Gen Con to say hi and they wanted to thank the community for being so awesome and welcoming. That's so right. That's pretty cool, cool man. For that, the, cool. Game, the game is legitimately awesome. It is so awesome. It is so epic that me talking about it doesn't do justice. Really, it needs another art form, one that is just a, 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 an amazing theatrical experience and expression of joy and emotion. It needs opera. Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> combining Puccini and Marvel Puzzle Quest, <laughs> I give you an opera advertisement. Oh, <laughs> Shit, uh -oh. that music. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, it's okay, it's okay. This is gonna be terrible yeah, anyway. Ready. <laughs> the new shield clearance level nine lands today, bro. Better rewards and challenges you can recruit. Lock the inhuman doggo. For more chances to summon Black Bolt, other inhumans, and Kamala Khan. And boost the power of your superhero squad. Last but not least, for a limited time, you can also recruit the Silver Server. And Thanos and Star Lord in the Cosmic Legends pack. Oh shit, I forgot my props. <laughs> <laughs> From now until the 30th of September, Marvel Puzzle Quest! Marvel Puzzle Quest! Wow. Well, well done. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> I think Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, the matter with uh, it's available for free on the Apple App Store and Google Play. Uh, next up, uh, any merch? What we got? Yeah, we got these. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Um, Freezer bullshit. Freezer bullshit. Hey, hey, how do you say it? Is it Dalen's? It's Dalen's. Thank right? you, Jesus. Yeah, because you said it wrong. Yeah, we're like Dalen. Yeah, no, I was like Dalen's. Sam's. Dalen's. Uh, speaking of Tox Machina, though, when you. No, that wasn't Tox Machina. When I announce these shirts on Tox Machina, my brain. Um, there's a new shirt for Tox Machina. You should check it out in the store. It's got Stay Turnt on it. It's a thing for Tox Machina. Yeah, check. man. It's got Foster on the front. Turn, stay turnt. 8 bit Foster. It's cute. Have you seen it, Ashley? I have, and I may have one. Yeah! <laughs> I almost wore it tonight, but it oh. is in the dirty hamper. <laughs> it's a good reason. It's a good also, reason. Also, there's. All the other stuff that I always say. Also, <laughs> Ashley, we missed you. Oh, oh, I missed you guys oh, so I missed you so much. <laughs> Look at that pretty face. Look at that pretty face. It looks like you and your little pink hat. <laughs> we just love you. <laughs> okay, next up. <laughs> I regret everything. No, um. Issue one of Critical Role Vox uh, Machina Origins is out. Uh, super, super excited. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of it. Uh, Matt Koval did an incredible job, and I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the arc. Such a good job with the dialogue. I know. Encapsulated the characters, yes. especially the characters early in their arc. Olivia Sampson's art just captures yeah, the mood and the feel so well. Uh, Chris Northup's art, his uh, color and his, his lettering, it's, it, everyone put together such an amazing job on this. If you have an opportunity, check it out. It's available on the uh, Dark Horse Comics app uh, through our friends at Dark Horse or Comixology and other avenues from there. Mm -hmm. um, but super proud of it, super excited. Can I get it on my Zoom? I don't think it's you on your can. Only on Palm Pilot. So you can get it on Kindle, Nook, iBooks, Google Play. I should have read the list. I, I made that list specifically <laughs> so you could reference it. Actual questions from Twitter. <laughs> That's fine. I do yeah. these things. It's okay. Thank you. Also, all the updates are on Geek and Sundry, right? Like, don't, yes. don't, 
tweet um, the same question 30 times to every member of the cast. Don't do that. Just just look it up I mean, on Geek and Sundry. You You're going to get a quicker answer, though. Well, if you just look it up I'll on Geek and Sundry. Time. Yeah, come on, tell us. We've talked about I'm this. Trying. I just <laughs> Man, Google's we, intimidating. we knew that we picked the right people for the job, but it, even so, it far exceeded our expectations. Yeah. It came together <laughs> really well. <laughs> it, that's so good. So yeah. good. We've been kind of freaking out. Yeah. A little just bit. a little. Just a little bit. Maybe I'm reading it out loud. Maybe. Pretending to be those characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam hates it, though. I love it. it needs more Scanlan. <laughs> it does need more Scanlan. Next issue. It's a good yeah. start. <laughs> <laughs> it's like season one of The Office. You know, pretty good, but it gets way better. Wait, <laughs> American Office or British Office? That's a distinction. American. American. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, of course, we have Talks Machina uh, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time here on Twitch and Alpha to, to discuss tonight's episode. So you can check it out then with our fantastic host Brian Foster, um, Lauren Travis. You're going to be at Anime Week in Atlanta. AWA next Yay! weekend, Friday, next Saturday, weekend. and Sunday in yeah. hot Atlanta. Come we're, see us. We're going to say hi. And what are we doing there? We got panels. We got autograph sessions. We got chits to take pictures and all those things. Eat food and. We're gonna run through the quad, streaking. Ooh. Yeah, he is. I'm gonna take pictures. Tequila. Um, yeah. So that stuff. Fantastic. That's it. Also, it is uh. September on Twitch. If you haven't been able to uh, have enough cash to throw towards subbing to your favorite Twitch uh, channel for the month of September, you get half off for doing so. So yeah. if Yay. you're interested in doing that, and uh, this is the month to do it. Two bucks. So go look into it. Um, last but not least, uh, as many of you aware, in this string of. A tri Natural disasters that yeah, came seriously. hitting. We had a, there was a terrible earthquake that hit Mexico City and the surrounding areas this past week. Um, we want to implore people to whatever you can to donate and help those who are currently recovering and, and the relief effort in the areas that were heavily hit by this earthquake. Having lived through a number of earthquakes in on in my youth, uh, it's a very scary and very dangerous thing. And so and and nothing on the scale of what they're undergoing there. So if you have the opportunity, we want to promote uh, UNICEF and Oxfam Mexico. Uh, the links will be in the chat soon, um, but if you can, please give. It all helps, and uh, people who are in the middle of that scenario will be very thankful. Yeah, so really thank do. you very much. Really um, all right, so on that note, let's go ahead and dive in to tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs> Welcome back. You guys can discuss this in a minute. <laughs> so, last we left off, Vox Machina had been climbing their way through the bowels of an undead risen primordial titan, previously having found information about the history of Vecna from uh, the Knowing Mistress regarding his ascension, the Avatar form, and the drive he needs to create a miracle before he can truly embody and begin to grow the power to really exemplify the abilities of the god that he has now become. Um, you begin to make your way through the interior where you battled uh, corrupted earth nodes that existed within naturally. Uh, you begin to battle undead skeletons and undead trolls. Eventually, after uh, making your way towards a series of uh, key-trapped rooms, uh, one of which seemed to be some sort of mirrored incinerator, you made your way towards uh, 
an upward tunnel and encountered a number of disciples, uh, cultists of the Undying King Vecna. Uh, in this confrontation, you encountered face to face a sphere of annihilation, and through some clever uses <laughs> of uh, tele- short range teleportation and losing one's face, um, you managed to stop them before one, they destroyed your party, or managed to escape to alert others of your presence. And last we left off, you all were resting within that hallway, uh, thinking about what the next course of action is. So, Vox Machina, what would you like to do? Cry. (laughs) (laughs) Hold each other. So we were going up a tunnel? Yeah, we need to keep going up. Oh, somebody needs to heal Scanlan. I think it was the other side of your face last week. No, no it, was sure it was the same side. It was a good try. Uh, I palm Scanlan by the face oh. and cast Lay on Hands. Uh, how bad are you, buddy? You know, medium. Medium? <laughs> I don't think, I think it's, it's more like, you know, when, you're, like it. when your toe was missing, I think it's like that. I'm dumping 29 hit points Whoa. of paladin power into your face. Isn't that like most of your paladin yeah, power? Yeah, it's all but one. <laughs> oh, dear oh, So I'm gonna hold that but guy. we needed that. Yeah, I, um, like, we got other people who could do like healing spells. As he reaches out and his fingers touch the side of his face, you feel the muscles tighten and the skin begin to reform. And as he pulls away, there's still a little bit of like a reddish rash or irritation of fresh skin, but the scarring seems to have subsided and your face is intact. Am I handsome again? We like you handsome. Good. So handsome. I kind of like the new way. This is like old, I know this face. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. I'm mean, <laughs> boring. I bore you now. Just a little. <laughs> I'll get a tattoo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing now? We need to keep going forward, and we need to either try to make it up this tunnel, or we can try going down that path that the sphere was forming. I don't know what that is. No, it just like, it didn't go all the way. It just started. I looked. Oh, okay. There. Then we keep going forward. Yeah, I think it's a channel, actually. A channel. Yep. Mm. Mm. Slight difference. That's a channel. <laughs> There's that's chocolate. A, that's a at tunnel the that end. goes under uh, the English Channel. Uh, yeah, there is. Right. Oh. Wherever that is. So forward then, huh? Yes. Let's. Where's everybody at? Hit what? Hit health wise. I'm good now. Are you solid? I'm pretty yeah, good. Fine. Yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm all right. Pike. How are you? I think uh, I'm okay. Okay, you got hit a couple times in that last fight. Maybe. <clears throat> I did. Uh, I think I'm okay, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> is, this like a, we'll is this a short rest that we're doing? That's up no. to you guys. That's up to us. Mm. We let's, let's, take 30 minutes or just keep moving let's forward. Get, like, yeah, let's just keep moving Keep moving forward. forward. Well, okay. I know we haven't said it much, but Park, I'm glad you are here. I just feel like <laughs> saying that. <laughs> oh, me too. I know we just have been here this whole time, but thank you for, you yeah, know, right. instilling confidence in me yet again. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Love you, Grog. Love you, Grog. All right, so you guys are continuing up the staircase? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yes. All right. Wait, I. Sneaky fox in front. <clears throat> yeah. Marching order. All right. Sneaky fox in front. Uh, All right. Should I do pass without a trace because they might have some inkling suspicion that we're on. How many more of those do you have? I will argue Well, argue I've got one uh, level two spell left and all my level three, so I can cast it at a high level because most Cost. of my spells are pointless at this point. Cost. I'll go behind behind the twins. All right. Percy I'll behind. Go behind Percy. All righty. I'm going to cast pass without a trace. Follow up. So everybody's got plus 10 to their right. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Pike right. and Og at the rear. Pike and Grog at the rear. Uh, trinkets in your necklace or, or out yeah. the Um, Bamping yeah. him back out. No, he was You're just being out. sneaky. Yeah, but we've got past the trace. Mm-hmm. Famous last words. He's out. Mean. Okay. And he Trinket is, is out happy. Being stealthy. <laughs> yes. Perfect. All righty. So, as you continue up the stone stairway, you said you were looking for Oh, yes. Drops, yeah. I figure. Always, 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 in, always in the tight. Slow tighten. moving up the steps. Yes. You slowly move. Okay, go for it. Slipses. Uh, for traps, <laughs> for investigations, that is a uh, 18. Okay. Um, you continue up the staircase, the, the steps being wider than the previous ones you've seen before. Um, eventually, you pass through the carved tunnel of cave in up the steps, and. Uh, the next chamber reveals itself not but 25 feet 
upwards. It opens up, and what you find yourself standing within a small building ruin, but the walls have just fallen around you. You can see just the bare structure around you, uh, elements of the base floor, uh, just rubble and broken slate. Um, but you see around you the what, what must have been a once colossal courtyard or commons for the dwarven city of Thamara, with varying levels and paths and platforms holding rare types of now petrified leafless trees scattered amongst this thoroughfare. Uh, climbing up dozens of feet like frozen bolts of lightning, forever reaching in vain. Uh, these, you see, dead, dead littered paths weaving between uh, stout, multi level buildings of Tamara make, just uh, corpses that have been torn apart and are twitching, kind of shifting on their own, the occasional hand kind of pulling its way across. Um, whatever bits and pieces of undead here remain, they're not functional, they've been so sundered through the ages or other sort of confrontation, and yet are cursed to forever twitch and wander. Um, your eyes, as they focus in on this interior, you glance to the opposite side, uh, and you see the ghost of this past beauty of the city surrounding you uh, is now currently defiled on a mass scale. From uh, over half of this 300-foot-wide cavern appears to have collapsed or is currently crushed uh, under an invading mass of black earth and rock, unlike the rest of the Titan's interior. Uh, the familiar smell of wet earth and ancient decay is now mixed with another familiar scent of cold ash and iron dust. The smell of the Shadowfell. At this distance, you can see the rough shape of three carved archways at the base of this kind of uh, inverted mass of earth that kind of curves down and collapses half of this cavern. Um, about 40 or so feet apart, and you can see at each of these entrances there are some figures, some shapes that are too far from you at the moment, hundreds of feet away for you to make any sort of clear uh, discerning vision, but you see a few bits of torchlight in the distance and shifting shadows near those entrances. Is <laughs> Are we in a dark tunnel? Like, it's they can't see us, right? I'm Currently, you guys are just emerging from underneath in this kind of small rubble, and there's no light in here. The only bit of light you can see is some of that bioluminescent fungus that you had in that previous tunnel, and the torchlight across the way. Should we put out your, put out your hands? So they can't see us. Um, hmm? Well, there's a bunch of people off in the distance. Yeah, do you want me to go take a look? You've dusted me, I'm pretty uh, quiet. Yeah, but you can have to stay within 30 feet of me if you Do want. You, well, 30 if you want to keep us on a trace, 60 to stay oh, within okay. the air. <clears throat> I'd probably be good without it. And we could go together about 50 feet away from the group, and then I could go a little bit further and see if I can get a better look. Let's stick around to the sides, though. Bass space, big, wide open. It's a wide space, and like as the cavern opens in this kind of large dome-like uh, interior path, maybe loosely kidney bean shaped or at a wide oval, half of it is currently just crushed and occupied by this darker mass of Shadowfell Earth mm. that it's is like just sub sitting on top of it. Like that's the city, maybe like the roots of the city, like the roots of the down city down crushing down into this chamber. Yeah. Like the Rick and Morty portal to Shadowfell. Yeah. 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 The, the, the yeah. Titan, where the Titan ends and Thamara begins, would be this particular threshold. Before so we, we could go up from here. This is where we go up. You could get that sphere again and just tunnel up. I have the sphere. Just, I know, we can go straight into the city. It's super slow. Well, the sphere is back in the tunnel with you. You can concentrate on it and bring it with you, and it moves at a very Four. slow speed. Well, we haven't moved very far. Have no, we? we've only gone a little <clears throat> 25 bit. Feet. 25 feet. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll bring it as far as we've gone. Okay. And cool. Yeah. So, uh, what's your intelligence modifier again? Now it's three. Sorry. Three? So you can move it 15 feet. Total? Around. Oh, Around. at a time? Yeah. Or so it, it's slower than any of you. Six seconds. Sure. Well, we're just walking here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So as you guys make Very your way much. up the tunnels, this hovering ball of just death. dense <laughs> death and destruction just... <laughs> Simon three. Just humming, humming <laughs> ominously, <laughs> Simon three makes does its it way. Make that sound? Does it make that? Is it noisy or is it? It does give a vibration and a noise to it. It does. You do hear the subtle hum. How far away from it do we have to be in order to not hear the hum? Yeah. Uh, about eighty or so feet. 
farther than I thought. That is my uh, position. Like it's a very, very faint, very faint sound. They're a couple hundred feet away. You are silent. We still have some cloaks. Hmm. Can put one on the sphere. It's not like they don't. Put them on us. (laughs) Yes. Disguise him. Put him in a hat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gloves. instantly throw no, a, a robe <laughs> over top of Scanlan. <laughs> Wait, what? You got a robe on you now. <laughs> Shit, nobody wants to see I'll put a robe on too. We're all naked, trying to like dress okay. the So you put on a robe and Scanlan puts on a robe. Yeah. Sure. All right. They know the orb was with two with of the some people, so as long so as we keep the distance, everything yeah. should be oh, fine. Oh, so now we're legit. Yeah, we look mm. like we were them. Hey, twins. Yeah. How do our flanks look if we move forward? Is it just trees? Is it buildings? Well, I was about to ask. Um, we see flickering light away far away, but I don't trust anything, so I want to specifically see if anything besides twitching fingers and toes are hiding closer to us. Make perception check. Yeah. And I'm listening for voices. Do I hear anything? Perception check. 24. Oh. <clears throat> um, 19. Okay, um, between the both of you focusing in the still silence, you can hear very, very faint, distant muttering of conversation briefly on the left archway, but around you, aside from like the small skittering of like an occasional hand that just kind of crawling its way forward, um, you don't see any other full-bodied undead. In fact, in comparison to the chamber you had exited not more than an hour ago, which had hundreds and hundreds of wandering undead, uh, this is mostly vacant, uh, vacant of anything that isn't directly at those archways. Which are how far away from us? Uh, they're about 150 or so feet. They're right at the center part of where this chamber would be, where the earth of the of Tharamfala's current resting so place is. So we're within a distance of 80, so we could, they wouldn't be able to hear the orb. Okay. Okay. Great. You're really, yeah, no. Just send it straight at them, then. Definitely. <laughs> Super slow. <laughs> <laughs> this awesome powers it. <laughs> it. It could, in theory, collapse the arches if you were so inclined, yeah, but. That's true. Yeah, but we're in there. <gasps> we could collapse all the rest of the tunnels and we go straight up into the city. Mm. It's a tiny bowl. Sounds a bit like bringing the city to us. But we, how big is the ball force. again? Uh, the ball's about two feet in diameter. So that's no. Krog's not going to fit in that hole. It could. It could just curl you up. Yes. I don't. I, I. I. I don't. I don't trust you as a, as a sphere artisan to be able to spiral the idea, the With you by my side, your engineering wits and my my ball handling skills will be fine. <laughs> as legendary as your ball handling skills are. Um, Make a ball handling check. <laughs> Roll 2d6. <laughs> yeah. uh, a volunteer's tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see how I could possibly help with this. Mostly. I think it's going to work. I'm afraid it might slow us down. I think, here's a question, is, is if you start thinking of it going in a particular direction, does it just keep going that direction? Or does it have like a radius where it stops listening right. to me? Mm-hmm. Huh. Let's give it a shot. Well, here, if we just send it in a direction. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, let's yeah, send yeah, it, yeah, just yeah, send yeah, it yeah. off yeah, towards one of those off. torches. It's it's destroying everything in its Go. path for forever. Let's find out, right? Or yeah. we can send it straight up towards whichever direction. All right, I'm going to concentrate on Simon 3 and send it back the way we came, not yeah, hurt, not hitting happen. anything, just, burn, just to see how far it goes before I lose telekinetic connection with it. Uh, it continues until it's out of sight. So it starts digging ah, and burrowing. Is it still going? It, like, as soon as you send it downward at an angle, oh, shit. it hits the floor and then just, just begins carving its own path oh, down, shit. tunneling lower and lower. How at a 50. far away is it now? Uh, at this point, I'd say it's about 70 feet. Okay, come back, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> it begins to slowly come back in your direction. Oh, you by fi- the way. finally found a worse bet than drink it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah. excellent. Uh, what direction is Vecna from us now? Uh, Vecna sourcing it would be upwards at an angle um, <laughs> from where you see the base of Tharamfal. Yeah. It's in that direction at an upward angle. So okay. you get the you get the sense that this is near the edge of the city. And we can we see any kind of light from above us? No, it is just. I mean, other than like the the, the very it's very Gaben, right? faint. Um, Bioluminescence left by like little patches of dull orange here and there that kind of just give you a sense of the the overall scope and enclosure uh, of the chamber. No other light source. There's no opening. 
So the option is really to keep moving forward and find our way up. Same there. option as ten minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. Can we the 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 figures in the distance? Can we tell like kind of by scale how big they are? Do they look humanoid or bigger? Uh. Make a perception check. <clears throat> Don't what fuck you? me, Gil. Control the sphere. So just okay. Will it obeys me because I asserted my dominance. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the alpha 21? now, and it respects me. The left archway, um, you see two torches being held by two human-sized figures, humanoid. Um, hoods are down, but you can't see this distance, anything beyond just the size. And they appear to be uh, surrounded by, uh, and this looks to be five or more Dwarf-sized skeletons that are just kind of shambling in unison around them in one kind of uniform movement as they kind of pace around the opening to the archway. The middle archway, you see what looks to be another humanoid figure, but armored. You can see like the sharp edges of, of plated shoulders and a helmet, um, and a few other skeletal figures kind of wandering around. But one, out of the very, very edge of the one torch that it holds, you see one large hulking figure, maybe about 10 or so feet tall, but you only see the very edge. You don't actually see the rest of the body, so all you see is like the edge of a shoulder or the beginning of a side. Is the, they, uh, okay. That's one way, right? That's there three, was like a, a left way. Yeah, there's like mm. a... And then there's the right archway. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Oh. Right. <laughs> which you can see... Uh, Three smallish looking humanoid figures, two that are very kind of hunched hands and legs, but have a kind of a humanoid silhouette on the head and shoulders, but they're kind of down on the ground, almost like a dog. And between the two of them, there is one humanoid figure that's still kind of hunched slightly, but still standing upright and erect, uh, hooded and cloaked. Do they appear to be looking for something, or are they just kind of wondering like a troll? Uh, as you watch them for a moment, you see they do move a little bit, kind of just glancing around the area, keeping a watch, but they appear to be patrol. stationed there with a minor patrol in the vicinity. Can they see each other? Uh, for the, the most parts? for the most part, they're about 40 feet from each other, and as there is a curve, like the right and the left archway probably have a hard time seeing each other. The middle one has a view of each. Okay. And occasionally, like, they'll interface, like, they'll converse a bit between the two of them, but for the most part, they're they're definitely just keeping a lookout, and they're very vigilant and looking out into the empty space before them. So seeing which way Keyleth is looking, Vax rests his, stands a bit on tiptoe and, and puts his chin on his shoulder and looks in the distance and sees the armored figure. Are we close enough to tell if that armored figure has a sword? A I'm going to lend the scope of my gun, if that helps. Okay, that would probably help. Okay. Um, make a perception check. Yeah. What is that? Scope? Yeah. It's just a series of lenses. 26. What are those? 26. Um, so this is a central figure in the armor. Yeah. Is wearing similar armor, Bits of glass. not to the, the the knight that you had encountered with Vecna. With Vecna um, more the the, uh, the blackened uh, armored knight that you had battled at the Ziggurat on Marquette. Wait, oh, no. Wait, what? When you first encountered Delilah Briarwood, Briarwood and you found the pathway oh, into the same, Shadowfell, same guy. Oh, looks like the same guy. Well, no, you murdered Those that one. Guys. But it's but a similar set like of armor, armor, yes. Yeah. No. Oh my god. I like I like Grog look through the, can you, the scope. Can you scry? <gasps> <They're right here. laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> Ashley's face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Like, Are you like, scared? Look through the look through the scoop. Look through the it scoop. here. <laughs> what do you see? I just see big guys. But I guess everybody looks big to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so brave. I'm so brave. <laughs> <laughs> Replacing Skype, it's like a, a, my niece sat down at the yeah. table to start playing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to murder all these people. Mm, why not just can we scry on on the like Death Knight or on Delilah to see if they're with Vecna right now or if, Ooh, yeah. because yeah. if they're separate from him, then what if they're in these chambers? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I will use a fifth level spell to scry. As opposed which, to the scrying eye. Which one are you going to scry on? Or is this my scrying eye use my spell casting ability? No. No, it's a 15, right? Right, it's 15, it's set to the item. Then I'm going to use, I'm going to, 
I'm gonna scry on Dead Knight. He probably would be less aware if you're scrying on Delilah. Yeah. She's gonna be She'll closer alert to people to yeah. our presence. I would be. <clears throat> yeah, that that Death Knight that seems to be let me make the sure right hand man. with the the ring that we can scry through. The, we can scry through the ring, right? We just can't. What's the ring say? Uh, shit balls. Hoda, 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 hoda. I gotta find it. Oh, I didn't think about that. Band of shrouds. While attuned, all creatures and their belongings within 60 feet of the bearer are immune to most divine magics that would locate or reveal the whereabouts of the creature. Correct. So we're so you can to scry it, so can outside scry. of it, but you cannot scry into it. Into it. Yeah, let's do it. Right. It's a one-way mirror. divining yeah. magics. That doesn't mean we're immune to everything. Nope, that's right. Ooh. Nothing's beetle-proof. Yeah, I want to scry on that big guy that was with Delilah when I saw him walking okay. out. Armor bro. Armor with, bro. With your spell or with? With mine. Okay. Hold on. Max finding his murder sheet. Now are your magical reserves. I'm all right. <clears throat> I am three quarters full. Using my last fifth level <coughs> spell for this. Okay. All right. So, you um, you sit kind of back up in the hallway to find a space that isn't immediately visible, and begin to build the circle of incantation. The rest of you keeping watch um, in case anything needs to make its way towards the entrance. Um, Definitely guarding. As you yes, as you complete the ritual. Your vision expands, and you feel your essence being pulled up through the earth and rock, the changing from gray and brown to black and dead, until eventually, for a brief instant, you see just a burst of the city of Tharamphala, matching precisely your memory of the inner sanctum of the city. And with that, but an instant, there's just a rush of momentum and energy, and you see footsteps. And you see before you the the death knight that you had previously encountered in the struggle is stepping up, kind of uh, dark, ruddy stone steps. One, two, three. You can hear the echo surrounding in this kind of slightly curving staircase. Do I see Delilah with him? You do not. Um. You. S- no, you don't. It, unfortunately, you see a, a very vague image. Of a room behind that's disappearing behind him as it curves around, where you can see two other armored figures uh, similar to the one that's at the center archway um, that are just standing watch in that chamber, and then they vanish as he curves around, and you watch as it steps up, step, 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 step. Can I get any de- other details hmm? on where he is? Can I get? Any, can I see any other like identifying landmarks? Uh, currently, it's just a windowless stairway that curves. Is he going upwards? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. he's in a tower. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe. What else does she see? Well, Anything you also else? see a brief, uh, not a brief, a a, a sudden uh, swelling of greenish blue light um, as he reaches the apex of the staircase. Oh, shit. At which point, you now see the top of a tower exposed, where three large hooked uh, stone spires curve inward uh, to a familiar top He's of a doing tower. It again. He's trying to do it again. You glance out of the corner of your eye and you see in the, the sky itself from this perspective has this weird sickly blue-green tint to it. And as you kind of try and focus beyond the proximity of the night, you get just a glimmer of some shape that is currently just Gliding in the air above, and then a voice just says, "No." And <gasps> but you're scrying on the Death Knight, not Vecna. Well, we knew that this was. Yeah, but he does. He doesn't know who he was doesn't, scrying. doesn't, or where. Yeah, maybe we, it was potentially. Fine. Maybe Hopefully. he probably detected it, but he doesn't know who or where it's going. Oh God! He I assumes. I yeah, he assume. suspects. Yeah. Said the barbarian I mean, about the god. Yeah. 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 Knowing, knowing, as you cast the spell before. <laughs> A creature that can see invisible objects sees the sensor as a luminous orb about the size of your fist. So creatures that can see invisible can see the source of a scry spell. Can see the source? 
but they, doesn't know not, where it's coming from. They don't, but knows not that necessarily, it's there. but they can see that something, something is scrying in space. Okay, okay, and okay. as soon as you kick back, you're like, shit. That's probably what it was. All right. Shit. That's probably what it was. <laughs> probably, probably what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Knows, well, he knows what's coming. Yeah, well, I mean, there was that moment when you two were falling to your deaths before we entered the Titan. Yeah. You were away from me, so it's possible he knows that. I'm sure he knows we're around, yeah. regardless. <laughs> um, no rats were do we want to deal with these people, or do we want to get around them? I vote get around. Do we see any other tunnels that that aren't guarded? Any? Uh, make perception check. Whoa, well, no. that's a big fat no. No, it's real dark, and you have to travel deeper into the actual cavern space to try and see any other tunnels. Um, yeah. And there's no peeling around the sides of this. There's too much rubble and shit. Uh, well, I mean, the the sides of this 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 foam. huge space that we're in. No, it encompasses the entire opposite side of this. This was maybe at one point a 250, 300 foot long cavern. Yeah. But half of it is entirely occupied by the base of Tharum Fala. Okay. Couldn't like Scanlan look like one of the like mages we just killed and walk up and be like, "All clear, everybody, go home. It's all done." We can totally try that. James, what was his name? He had a name. Oh, we, he did have a name. What was the names? You wrote them down. <clears throat> the names what? of the people we just killed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We know their names. Yeah. I don't know. Like, no, yeah. Names. You wrote it down. Odell. 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 Tell Viscon we have visitors. I wrote that in quotes. Yes. I could I could be one of them, and I, I have a I have a, a an orb of destruction next to me that would seem like his. Totally. Yeah, you could just walk it up real close and be, and like, be like, "We are gonna tunnel in this one now, so move." Do you remember what Odell looked like? Sure. I mean, we just killed him, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> o- Odell seemed to be a, a more high-ranking member of. Vecna's sure. Who, which was the one who was controlling the orb, though? Well, wait a second. Scanlan could do that, but he can't go by himself. We all have to creep along with him. I'll be. I won't out. be alone. I'll have Simon with me. We all have to go together so we don't fall out of range of her this ring. This is true. We're going to be within sixty feet of you. Oh fuck! Very stealthily. We are all stuck together. Unfortunately. Can we t- send? Can you send them down there? Send who down where? The rest of them to help the the, the other. We tell them that they need help down below in the cavern where we oh. just murdered everybody. You're Odell. Viscon might be one of them, but you can send them down there to like say that there's a problem, and then we just cave them in when they all go. go yeah, but how do we get them past us? How far are they we from hide. us? We uh, hide. They're about 140 or so we feet, 150 feet. Down to where we were. Send them who? The people that got in the archways. Yes. All right. We tell us which places. <laughs> how is it that Grog is following me right now? <laughs> How many, how, how many? Am I making that little sense? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Or is the tone of surmise? How, how many robes do we have? Are we are we going to oh, claim yeah. that we are there to relieve them of their shift? Is that what you're pitch, pitching? No, we're going to say we're going to tunnel in that area now, so they have to clear out, or else they'll be caved in. We send one of us up as Odell, tell Viscon that there's a problem down there, and that we need everybody to help because we found something. Yeah, yeah. We heard we heard rumblings That's down good. there. There's people coming through. Yeah, and and scan- not people. Don't let anyone know that there's people. There's a strange Just gem. Noises. But there's definitely something interesting. But you people have you have to be near me when I do this, or yes. else Relatively we have to within close. 60 feet. How is that going to happen? We're going to hide. We're going to hide. Is there anything to hide behind? There are. I mean, the, it's the, all dark. The, well, it's, it's dark, and there are a number of dwarven buildings and various, you know, levels of disrepair and collapsing. And as we get closer, oh. I can use hide in plain sight and camouflage all of us to where they can walk by us and they won't see us. Also, additionally, we can play monkey in the middle as long as Vex is at center. Mm-hmm. You can be 50 That's feet true. or so That's ahead, true. and everyone else could be either with oh, Vex or back. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. actually sounds like a plan, <laughs> yeah. which means it will go terribly Too wrong. Shit. <laughs> everything, everything. So really, they're wrong. within what? They're like 120 feet from us, you said? 140, 150 feet. Okay, so we'll move forward a bit, and then we yeah, um, wait, up, camouflage wait. all of you. An actor prepares. Who am I? What's my motivation? You are Willie Loman. Am I Odell? And if so, why does Odell have the sphere with him? Because he's going to tunnel in that tunnel. But does he control it? He never controlled it. Yeah, look, Odell went to Vecna because his wife left him because she's like, (laughs) oh, you're 
not very powerful. Right. He's like, I will find and show you. <laughs> so you went to Vecna and you okay. gouged your eye up, sure. then your like depth perception sure. is off yeah. now. So then you're like, I'm gonna work my way up through the ranks. Yeah, yeah. 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 But then you went back and she was like, Oh, now you're hideous, and now I'm not <laughs> taking you back at all. Yeah. And you were spiteful, so you went back and just turned to a life of crime and sure, deceit. Sure, sure, I'll show her. I'll show all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I like you ready? this. Yeah, the good backstory. Yeah. Okay. Right, smack Stanley. Let him know, let him know. Smack him on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Go um, get him. Wait, wait. And who's wait, Viscon? Wait, wait. <laughs> Which one? Viscon was... Oh, Viscon was the... No, Odell was the one holding the sphere, right? Yes. Yes. Because th- one of the other other minion guys was like, Odell, go tell Viscon. Yeah, but he was running away. He wasn't the one holding the That's sphere. That's true. That's true. So Odell the one was in the green the robe was... The other one was holding the sphere. Who's the green robe guy? Doesn't matter. Who's green robe guy, then? Gray What's his robe. name? Gray, gray robe. robe? Yeah, it was gray. Hold on, I'll put it out and look at it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> what was that? Wait, wait, the wait. Check to see if wait, I have, in the Wait, we have the actual robe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Are they written on the, are they written yeah, on the tags like a yeah, school play? Yeah, does it have his name written in it anywhere like, so we keep track of Please it? Please see us. It oh, my God. oh, my God, that would be just amazing. Roll that an so investigation check. Oh yeah, come on. He's a sharpie. He's a sharpie. Oh, this is pretty good. <laughs> Um, twenty four. If found, return to <laughs> property of. <laughs> oh, this is happening. Oh. Come on, come on. So this reaching. is which one? This is He's the. Reaching, this y'all. is the gray route. <laughs> was it the gray? one green? It was gray, gray. The guy that was controlling okay. the orb. Yeah. You know these people have anal okay. retentiveness issues. The red come guy on. ran. Oh it no! The not. red guy was holding the orb. The green guy put up the force wall and ran away. So we want the red. The red robe. So I'm looking at the red robe. Shit. <laughs> yeah, because okay. the red robe was Odell. Red Odell robe, put red up robe. The I don't know for sure. Wall, we don't right? know. No. No. Fuck. One person at the Hold table on. does. I'm, he I'm knows. loading this up. <laughs> Vax just starts this? quietly praying to the Raven Queen in the corner right now. Okay. This is so dumb. I love it. So, Odell is the one that ran off. Okay, so that's not the one we want. We want no. the one in red that was controlling Correct. the orb. Uh, Viscorsa, uh, Viscorod. Viscorod. Did we ever hear his name? Yes, we did. Yes. Good so Rebecca can tell that Viscorod found sneaky prey. That's right. Viscorod. My name is Viscorod. Yes. Do you want to know his backstory? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'll so just wait. use the same one. Okay. Is Viscorod just gone? No. Viscarod and Viscon are two different people. I might have missed it in the moment. I was I was in painkillers. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So it's so, so there Viscarod. is no Viscon. There's a Viscarod though. Viscon, I think, was is the name of an island elsewhere. It was my brain? <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I'm uh, doing the best I can here. Right. Looking forward to vacation when this is all over. Yeah. Yeah. But we know the other one was named Odell, and he's dead. Yes. Yeah, so correct. I can go over to them and say. They've killed Odell. No, you can go and don't say that there's anybody that they need to watch out for. Wait, don't no, set them I'm on alert. I'm trying to send them down. No, don't o- set them on Odell's alert. Tell them you found help. something interesting and Odell is investigating it. And so they need to go get what? They need he to go down help. into the tunnel to help him. The best who's on first. Okay, but what is the thing that we found? I don't know. Anything right. you like. All right, fine. Your your long lost wedding sure, ring sure. from yeah. your past marriage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not that, okay. but, but yes, yeah, something that you found something interesting. Sure. It's strange, possibly dangerous, possibly useful. You definitely need help for it. Vecna's going to be thrilled. It's yeah. huge. Everybody's going to get promotions. Okay. Just okay. Tell okay. Them Odell's still contacts. down there. Yes. He needs some help. Yes. No, what, what I'm going to go talk to Vec <coughs> while they go help Ode. Yeah. Right? All right. Yeah. Okay. We are doomed. <coughs> I'm going to put on my hat of disguise. Okay. And become oh. as close to that man's form as I can. Okay. Well, Easy was he Was he a human? Was he an elf? Was he a. He was human. He was human. Okay. So we get. We sneak forward. Trinket's going back in the necklace. This is just right. too, too dangerous. Yeah. Moles and trolls. Moles and trolls. <laughs> Red leather, yellow leather. Red <laughs> yellow leather. <laughs> All right. So as soon as we get like within 100 feet of them. Yeah. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna do hide with in plain sight on everybody and camouflage everybody so that they. Okay, so hide in plain sight and then camouflage. Or should we get inside one of the on, pa- on top of Pass of the Trace. Hide in plain sight. Oh man. Because we could hide in the house. 
One of the ruins. We've got camo paint yeah. and camo we clothes are swords and while and carrying a bush. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so the hide in plain sight is the camouflage. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are the munchkins in the beginning of, of, of <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Just, just to, like, <laughs> disguise everyone so that they're super, super, super <laughs> hidden. And, and Pike can get on my so back just to, like, just to rule out any accidental... Camouflage you can only effect. really do on just yourself. Just for safety. Yeah. Oh, really? Hide in sight, yeah. But I can use my tracking, my hunt, my ranger skills I'll to like say, cover. Sure, people. you can, you can, you can Deco. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator this for other folk. All right. Deco. So we're keeping within. Pass so that I'll trace say make range. a make a wisdom check to see if I can actually do it. To see how like how well you manage to amass the I terrain. Stay ten nearby. feet away from her and give her a plus two. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so low. I know. Eight. Plus okay. Two. Oh no, um, I suck. You're gonna have to. Re- ever, you try, but unfortunately, oh, well, a wisdom saving throw or a check? Check a check. Yeah. So uh, it looks like, unfortunately, the 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 shale and broken rock in this vicinity. It's hard to find anything that would actually help hide them beyond just their natural stealth roll. So you're gonna have to rely on your pass that, pass a, trace. that a trace. Okay. So then we just have to stay within thirty feet of me because that's you how. You stay in there. We're gonna get into the ruins. We're gonna have our, our yeah. guns trained so in case hides. anything goes wrong. Yep. All right. Trained. And then scan them. All right. Just stay within sixty feet of me. He looks like um, yeah. uh, finds some like black dirt on the ground and just gives like a mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. war. Stay paint. safe okay. and remember, if anything goes wrong, it's been a pleasure working with you. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Jenga. We can yeah, do the yeah, Jenga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would the only one be saying Jenga, pretty much. Yeah. 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 You can do the Jenga. Because otherwise, we'll we'll just what do we do if if it's Jenga? We we kill everyone. We just attack. Yes. Yep. Okay. We think well of you and move on. All right. So I'm gonna stick. Close to Vex in case uh, she needs backup, but also if Scanlan needs backup. So, ready to run in. Okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, only person going forward is you? Yes. Yeah. Are he doing Wait. Not, not, oh, yeah. Before he goes, Wait. I grab him oh. and I cast freedom of movement on him. What is that? What is that? You, you can't be grappled. Or, Can or you paralyzed. Or paralyzed. Something to help his like, charisma and his persuasion. You're pretty careful. Um, yes, actually, I can, because yeah. freedom of movement is not a concentration spell. So I'm going to burn my last second level spell Ooh. and do enhance ability to yeah. give you um, uh, advantage on charisma checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever that one is. Advantage on charisma checks. Peacock's nice. charisma or whatever right. the fuck. It's and called. note that you have freedom of movement. How long does it last? It's an hour. <laughs> it's good, but an hour. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. Okay. It's all, right, all right. So you have freedom of movement for an hour. Okay. Everyone else who's not going forward, make a stealth check, please. Oh my god. Yeah, so oh this god. Is plus ten. Oh, it's plus ten. Uh, let's do. Uh, yeah. Let's do the druid. Get it. Let's do the druid dice. Natural twenty. Oh, that's good. That's good. Natural twenty. That's good. Plus your. Forty-seven, um... Matt. Forty-seven. Jesus. Because of my natural twenty. <laughs> You're gonna be in triple digits soon. You. you s- <laughs> oh. He appears in another game <laughs> somewhere in the Deep you, Valley. You, you go back and watch previous episodes, and Liam's not there. It's really <laughs> weird. Uh, okay. Um, so. <laughs> Forever. Yeah, you doing all the Somewhere in the future, there's an Acquisitions Inc. going yeah. game, and my head just pops and pops out. Exactly. And then pulls out. Yeah. I love it. Perfect. I got 43. 43. That's pretty good. That's 22. Pretty good. 22. Pike? 20. Yay! Hey. Not a natural 20, but. About a 20. 30. Okay. 34. Okay, wow. Does some pretty solid rolls, guys. So, as you all stay as quiet as possible and moving along the exterior of Vex's ability to move forward, you moving forward slowly while keeping Scanlan in sight, you slowly begin to move forward with Mm -hmm. Simon Three. Yes. Just humming slowly in front of you. I'm going to limp as I go. Okay. Limp as I go. Interesting no, character choice. Right. Okay. No, no, stop no, making choices. So, Strong choices, no. commit to them 100%. Scanlan. You guys are quietly stepping, quietly stepping through, and you hear his footfalls. <laughs> echoing, and immediately you see some of the torches shift, and there's some talk and some whispering back and forth and a small shout. And you watch as some of the skeletal entities at two of the entrances kind of shift and look in that direction, begin to shamble slowly. Uh, the two torch bearers on the right begin to move forward as the armored figure in the center kind of watches on, arms crossed. Um, what are you doing? Yeah, uh, there's three I'm, archways. I'm going to go to the one that had 
that knight near it, right? That's the middle one. The middle one. I'll go to the middle one. I'm going to keep the ball sort of like in front of me a, a little bit to kind of just obscure me just a little bit. Not not like dead in front of me, but just right. like it's it's up here just in case. Okay. Hanging my head a little bit. Okay. And I'll go up and I'll just say, Ugh, power, so much power. I've never experienced anything like it before. Come, I need aid. <laughs> Okay, uh, make a deception check with advantage. Oh okay. Oh, first one was better. 10 plus, what is this? Deception. Deception. 28. Oh, yeah! Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, the, uh, the shambling skeletons to the left of you, uh, you can hear kind of the scraping and the clacking sound as their bones rattle and shift across the stone floor, pieces of rock being pushed as their feet just drag across the stone dwarven walkways. Um, the two torch-bearing cloaked figures you can see approaching, and they're talking amongst themselves. One of them is currently holding what looks to be some sort of a, a holy symbol in their hand, and they're starting to glow a bit, and they're kind of glaring forward. Shit. The armored Shit. figure with the arms, cr arms crossed just puts a hand out like this. Oh. And they both kind of look over and stop and hold in place. The armored figure steps forward. You can hear the, the uh, armored footfalls across the stone and the rock behemoth, which you now see emerging behind. Oh, um, rock, rock, rock behemoth. behemoth. The entities that you saw patrolling Tharam Fala and one of them, or two of them, stormed uh, into shit. Sprig's house. Begins to follow behind him. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. So far, it's going great, guys. <laughs> Every minute or two, you have the vibrating footfall of the Titan. A few other rocks kind of fall and tumble from the ceiling, and a bit of dust begins to get locked, knocked free from the high up ceiling of the cavern. The armored figure approaches, gets within about 15 feet of you, and stops. You can see no face. There's the slight slivers. It's kind of a Magneto style. How there's space for the eyes and the mouth. But it's too shattered for you to make any features mm -hmm. out. It's just this dark void, um, and you can see the hook kind of spiked shoulders and the the uh, horns that kind of are built to come out of the sides of the helmet. Uh, arms still crossed before. What did you say? We were tunneling with the orb, and we found something—an uh, ancient dwarven artifact, it bends reality, it changed things, it changed my voice, it changed uh, my my whole world for a moment. It's still down there. Odell needs help. <laughs> there's, there's a pregnant pause, a stillness, that causes the back of your neck to grow warm. The nerves begin to creep up the back of your spine, and instinctually your eyes begin to glance at the two other archways as you see shapes shifting. The, um, the armored figure kind of gives a subtle chuckle. <laughs> Very well. Lead us to this find. I have been injured. Take the orb, go down and to where we were, down that way. I will go get help for myself. Odell needs you to help him contain the power. The power! Ugh. <laughs> Head retracts slightly, confused and a bit worried, and takes like one step onto the back foot, almost like it's not sure if it should be close to you or not. <laughs> it raises its hand back towards the two other torch bearing, cloaked figures and goes, Vislal, take the orb. And the uh, one of the hooded figures steps forward and takes a moment and concentrates. <laughs> the orb <laughs> jolts towards him. He's like, he goes, uh, do, stop, stop. <laughs> He's gonna try again. Okay. And with a second try, you see like the sweat off his brow. He begins to step backward, like, uh, I'm not really good with this. <laughs> he manages to, to and you're, you're relinquishing your control over it? Yes. Okay. So then he focuses for a moment, and the orb, you feel like the, the slight bit of will that you had imposed over it has pulled back, and the orb begins to push forward slowly in his direction of choice, and you can see a smile come across his kind of hairless, older face, and he kind of nudges the other uh, figure, which you can see is a, is a, a female half-orc who looks uh, heavily scarred across the chin and the side of the neck, and they're both missing the corresponding eye. Um, 
They both begin to move forward and slowly push the orb past you, and the vibration you hear getting louder in your guy's direction as the armored figure begins to follow suit behind. Um, the, uh, the rock behemoth begins to follow, and the armored knight goes, keep watch. Shit. And the skeletons begin to move backward with the rock behemoth, and so now you have the heavy footfalls of the large looming rock behemoth at the center, uh, walkway and a handful of skeletons for that approach and kind of blockade that as the knight with the two other hooded figures begin to make their way towards the entrance where you guys rose up. I shouldn't have given them the spear. What am I going to do with a fucking spear? <laughs> yeah, but we have to cave in and they're going to see. Wait, we're supposed to cave in shit? We're going to cave it in after them. God now. damn it, why didn't you tell me this plan? <laughs> you did. <laughs> so. So. They begin to walk forward and slowly make their way towards the, the staircase that you guys emerged from. Not We're but the best at this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we part like you guys part a bit and move around the sides. Um, okay. You guys keep as quiet as you possibly can. And there's a brief moment, Pike, where the, your arm is in the side of one of the stone walls, and a piece of rock just snaps and breaks. Of course, it's and me. It's the ground. <laughs> um, one of the hood, one of the figures of the hood back stops for a second and goes to look, just as one of the Titan footfalls impacts, and the whole area shakes, sending other rocks tumbling around. And it seems to be just enough to kind of distract. And they continue walking forward. You hear the hum of the orb as it slowly makes its way past you. Faint hint of a Doppler. And it slowly, you watch them descend into the ruins that you emerged from down into the tunnel. So they can only move at the speed of the orb since they have the orb with them. Correct. Well, they can move faster, but yeah, they but won't gonna, have the orb with them. The orb. Can we, can we, should we still cave it in, though, behind them? How many, how many creatures are left guarding us? Uh, currently, you oh, still wow. have you have uh, the cluster of eight skeletons on the left one. Nothing there are there's four skeletons in the rock behemoth in the middle, just, and on the right you still have one things. one humanoid figure uh, flanked by two hunched humanoid figures. So twelve we can skeletons. Can definitely take the skeletons out though and like sneak through, potentially in that one tunnel. We should still cave this shit in, and it'll just seem like a natural <clears throat> cave in, right? Skeletons we can handle pretty yeah. easily. So wait, it's it's twelve skeletons, don't one rock think, behemoth, what? and two. Don't you think crunch, the thing that like, the big thing was guarding is the is the better path? Probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We sneak past the. There are eight behemoth. skeletons in the left path. Eight. Uh, four skeletons, the rock behemoth in the center. Four in a rock behemoth. And then one humanoid figure with two crouched humanoid figures in the right. One humanoid, two crouched figures. Yeah. Okay. And how spread out are those three groupings? They're about that. 40, 50 feet from each other, mm -hmm. around like like a curved uh, outcropping. So from your perspective, it's it's around this. So mm -hmm. the center can see both. Mm -hmm. The right and left probably can't see each other too it's well. Dark. Humans. Are it's dark, and there is a kind of a vanishing point around the curve where the far ends can't make eye contact. Humanoids are the big problem, but they can see the middle. Agreed. Yeah. They can both see the middle. Yeah. Uh, out of all of these, the the human with the two crouched thing is what I'm most worried about. Because we don't know what it is. Right. Well, and humans have common right. sense. Do we have a way yeah. to alienate these three that are walking to go see Odell? Do we or do we not? We have the gem. But we don't know what it does. How, it how? may make the undead move towards it. That's true. That's yeah. true. But should we cave in this fucking tunnel so that they can't come back through? How, how wide are the tunnel entrances? Uh, they're about 12 feet wide and about 10 feet tall. And when I say they're arches, there's there's simple stone placed and then built around to kind of maintain an arch, but it had been fairly recently constructed, and it's more of like the very basic beginnings of a mine shaft. Um, it looks like these tunnels were carved probably once Tharamphala arrived above the Titan. So they're not extremely stable, but they're stable enough for passage in and the out. The guy who talked to me, is he still he, near, went. he went with the orb. Oh, okay. He he just which archway did he come from? The middle. The middle. Okay, so the, I'm going to go up to the middle one and just say, Excuse me, big fella, I have to get by. <laughs> Make a deception check. Advantage. With advantage still. 
Don't go, too, ah. don't go too far from me. 25. 25? We'll stick with him as the, um, the rock behemoth just kind of glances at you. You see it's a large kind of metal cage-like helmet that guards its uh, sunken head that rests kind of squarely in the center of its chest at this point. It's The smell emanating from it is just this awful combination of, of uh, rot and, and long, putrid milk. Yeah. Um, you can see no face oh. behind the mask, just the glowing red coals for eyes, and as it kind of watches you as you pass, it doesn't make any motion. I just you go in through the through don't, the archway. Don't, don't keep oh, walking shit. fucking away from me. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go a few feet in. What do, do I see anything? Uh, you can see it uh, seems to curve upward. It's like stairs? Uh, it's not stairs, it's, it's a smooth, it looks like the interior of this was made with an, a sphere of annihilation. Like someone had taken uh, a while because there's there's no dirt, there's no mounds of dirt around it. It looks like someone had been carefully just carving this path. You get the sense that this sphere has been a very a utility object since they arrived. Uh, how far can I get before I'm away from sixty feet? You'd have no idea where she is. Oh shit! Well, I didn't. I must have gone with them and then gone forward. Well, they right? have to follow we're, you. We're following, following you right now. Every time you move forward, I have to move forward. Yeah. Oh. And well, then they have to move, move forward. forward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just at the threshold of the. Of okay. The so, so you walk about maybe three feet past the behemoth and just stop. I, I take a I take a knee. It slowly turns towards you. I'm okay. I just need a second. What's going on? (laughs) What's going on with my brain? (laughs) What's the plan? (laughs) Send the behemoth away. Okay. Okay, okay, you can do this, man. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Lead him away. Where? Anywhere. Um. Convince it that the people we sent away need it. Uh, 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 I'll start back. <laughs> I start back. Okay. Uh, I, I go back through and I say, no. It's too dangerous. Uh, they need help down there. And I fall down to one knee again and say, ah, damn these legs. <laughs> you, you must go help them. They'll die down there. Can't you see it's getting worse? The pain. <laughs> Is that the DM's face or the creature? Okay, Probably <laughs> both. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just make a straight charisma check. Not a not advantage. Well, no, you'd have advantage because the the spell you would. Just char- just, just charisma bonus, charisma modifier. Twenty twenty three. Oh, twenty four. Oh, oh twenty three. Twenty three. Right. Okay. Uh, that's all you're gonna leave it at twenty three. What? Oh, you can inspire, inspire yourself. yourself. You can. It'd seem odd if I start singing to myself. What if you're crazy? You're in a fever dream. You're in the throat. I can, I, I, I've got the I, Jake legs. I can, I can assist in your inspiration. How? You're 60 feet away from me. I'm going to. Can I, can I assist you're, you're in his more inspiration? You're 60 feet away from me. Anything you do to assist with him will reveal you from stealth. In, including casting a spell? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Says your senses. Yeah, yeah, I'll just. Uh, sure, I'll inspire okay. myself. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I get to so roll something. Roll a d12 and add that to your okay. 23. Oh, another eight. The eight onto that? Uh-huh. So a 31. There's another long pause. And generally, an entity like this is tethered to the will of one creature. Mm. And in most circumstances, it would not take any orders from anybody outside of it. <laughs> But somehow, your words get it to consider, and it's simplistic undead mind, that if its master is in danger, then obviously the master would want help. Mm-hmm. That's robotics law one, right? Yeah, Asimov. straight up. Somehow, <laughs> your force of words circumvent the tethered command. <laughs> 
Um, and the behemoth <laughs> begins to hulkingly make its way with the two other, with the the four other skeletons oh, walking, yes. with the, the, the skittering of the skeletons away towards where its master disappeared. Ooh, oh, Jesus. maybe, maybe. I'm gonna wait till it passes by me to like whisper into my earring. Maybe. <laughs> if we all go down the middle tunnel, then we can collapse that tunnel behind us. Mm. Mm. Instead of collapsing three tunnels. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we just make a run for it and then collapse the tunnel. Because the other two tunnels are gonna see us once we get in the middle. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm into this. Sweet. Can we, can we, do people have abilities to make sure these people stay back and don't rush us while we get through? They're idiots, just go. Just run. <laughs> but there's a person thing. We stealth around the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then. Because the skeletons are better. Yeah. To deal with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about collapsing the middle tunnel? Yeah. That we're about to go into. Right. Don't just we at the wanna, base. Should we entertain the idea of collapsing the tunnel that we just sent just everybody to? Everybody through. But there's, there's more. Yeah, yeah. But all the danger is behind, most of the danger, the majority uh, could, of it is behind us. We can, we can stealth collapse kill these, both. these humans super quick. And can you collapse out. the one that they just went down? And then we'll collapse ours too, because the thing Even is Even if we just get the one. Get... Ah, the power! Even if we go. just get the one. Ah, it's corrupting me! Because all of them coming back or chasing us yes, is going to be a bitch. Problem. Yeah, let's go. Okay. If we can just, even if it just slows them down. This is all pretty much unworked Kill stone humanoids. for the most part, since you said it was like all kind of self-carved by... Yeah, it's yeah. pretty yeah. rough. It's, it's natural, n natural earth and stone, as natural as the shadow fells. Uh, yeah, slate and rock is, but yeah, it's it's yeah. unworked for the most part. I could I go earth elemental, go into the walls, collapse tunnel A, you guys make a run from it, I can earth glide through <gasps> the, like, through the, the walls, Get to the middle as, long, as soon as you guys get and through and collapse too. second tunnel. I like this plan, but it might take it's a, little take a little bit. Not like I, I don't know. What about the this? sixty feet thing? We have to wait for the first tunnel to collapse, then we make just, a run. Let's just go. go. Just make a run for it. And not collapse, collapse tunnel one. Collapse tunnel. No collapse tunnel. <laughs> collapse tunnel one. The one we came from. Yeah. How? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Incredible how how far away is Tunnel One right now? Tunnel One, the one with the eight skeletons. No, the one that no, they the all one we came from. Through. Oh, that one. We just sent everybody. To. Uh, that's, I'd say at this point, with you guys having to keep it the sixty foot radius with Scanlan, uh, it's about uh, eighty or so feet behind you. Another option. You said that these three passageways it curves this way, and that the two on the sides don't have a really good look at each other, right? Correct. And on the left is a bunch of undead fuckers, right? Right. And on the right, we've got a humanoid and two little crunched oh. over yeah. guys, right? So you've got uh, that uh, silence doohickey. One shot for, right? for the long rest, but yeah. And us. So we could bet it all on stealth kills and just creep in and go. And leave it all behind. Oh, okay. On stealth this kill. side, so one in the middle is now empty, one on the left, over around the corner is undead. Stealth kill. Humanoid and two cre creepy crawly guys. Okay. If if it pans out, we take them out, and the skeletons over there can't see over here. If we act quick, and then we just go. Well, I would say collapse the tunnel and go. We still have to collapse the tunnel. All right, but kill them, <laughs> and then make Very a loud cool. noise. Because if we, as soon as we start shit rumbling, everybody gets paranoid and upset. Get, yeah, well, we would have to be lucky just if there's a big. Okay. To make okay. it to okay. that probably getting down near Odell at this yeah, point. We should, we should hurry. Okay. So, okay. I can I can throw up a wall of stone to block the tunnel we came yeah. from, and it. then we go and do, then it do and the other go. stuff. Let's do it and go. Yes. yes. Go. Yes. Okay. Shh. I'm burning the last of my shit. The six level spell wall of stone. Poof. Okay. The Where's the wall? Tunnel we came from. Tunnel we came from. Okay. What's your range? So the, the tunnel comes down to the ground. Feet. So you create a stone wall stone over that entrance. Yeah. Yeah. And once okay. they're all in there, we block them. We in. block it up completely. Okay. The one that they if went. They're all yeah, we send them. They're all in. They're all in. Yeah, they've we'll all they've all been in there for uh, about two minutes at this point. And can we say that the that the twins and and Freddy have been ready to go as you cast and make our move on these three on the side? Sure. You're going for the three, the three humanoids. The yes. Okay. Are you sure? 
Those seem like the most powerful ones. That's yeah. why we stealth kill them now. Stealth okay. kill them and, assa- and get the, the drop. So after that's up, we all move all as a group right. in that direction so we're within 60 feet of I'm going to take the standing one. Okay. Well, okay. I'm, uh, the, my spell's going to make noise, right? So should you guys Even bother with stealth kill, kill first? We just go for surprise kill if we want. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. That's all right. what I'm okay. saying. Okay, so you're waiting for them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you uh, hold off, you talk, you guys move over. So we have to creep up within Stealthily 60 feet so that up. I can. I reach. stay with them yep. okay. as far as I can. They don't seem to notice your approach, okay. the two of you. Is it just the two of you? Yeah, I've, I'm at great or distance. Right. Okay, gotcha. What do they look like from this distance? All right, so you see there is one hooded figure, hood up, uh, holding a torch with one hand, but the torch is kind of up and vibe, so it, you, the shadow cast doesn't, you're not able to really make out any, any features or so. You can see the faint side of what looks to be a an older female face, that's is all you can make out. And you see two uh, shadow ghasts, uh, the creatures that you fought, um, or you saw like leaping from rooftop to rooftop in Tharamfala, and one of them you captured briefly oh, yeah. in Sprig's house. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're both on chained necklace, like like chokers, being held in the other hand of this individual like dogs. Okay. And they're just kind of standing there keeping a watch. So we should kill her. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, so start with her, then the ghasts. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to assassinate this woman, hopefully. Flick, flick on her. All right, we'll attack both of you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, is it automatic crit because it's a prize? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go, twins, go. So, uh, 30 attack. 30, awesome. Why is my music not working? Oh, no. Oh, well. Um, all right, so 30 definitely hits. And for you, Vax? 25 and 23. Uh, all hit. Okay, there we go. Okay, the juice goes on too. Uh, and I'm gonna dump a mm, smite into it as well. Okay. Three. Uh, uh, this is eight. 19 times two is 28 plus eight. Is 36 damage on my first arrow. Alrighty. Eight, and then smite is 16. <laughs> Second attack. 19 times two. 19 times two, yeah. That's what? Is 30. 22. No. Oh, that's 28. 28. Yeah, dice times two and then add the modifier. Oh no, ni- 38. Oh, 38. Oh, never mind. 19 times two is 38 plus eight. So 38 so plus eight. 46. There you go, 46 damage. Yeah, on the first one. All right, and the first dagger to strike does eighty-eight. Okay, so <laughs> the humanoid figure in the center holding the the, uh, the torch, all you see is them go, and then just drop back to the ground as the chains claw to the ground. The torch clatters, and you see the light kind of shift and flicker, and the two shadow gas meet like, <laughs> and look directly in your direction. Yeah. Kila yeah, finishes yeah, casting the, the spell. Shot one. So my second arrow. Yep, all right, so the wall stone goes over and covers the top. All right, and you start catching up with the rest of the group. Mm-hmm. Grog, Pike, you guys are running to catch up with Vex and Vax. Yep. Um, you're making the second strike? You're yeah. second yeah, again? Yeah, two daggers as part yeah, of the Yeah, so, so go ahead and, this is against uh, which shadow gas? The one on the, the uh, left or right? I'm going left. And you fired? Uh, on uh, the left or the right? Um, <laughs> I fired at whichever, uh, I'm firing yeah, you don't right. know. You don't know, I'm gonna fire on the same one that my sister does, mm-hmm. so like, right. So 31 to hit. All right, both hit? I already, yeah. Okay. Well, that, that hits, and then what'd you roll, Vax, to hit? Nice, 16. Me earlier? To hit. Okay. Oh, it was to earlier hit. I did it. It was, they both hit, it was like Oh, 20, right, yeah, they both hit. Uh, yeah, right. uh, 19. 19 damage? Oh, no. All right. And uh, just seven for, for me, for that one. And that's all I'm gonna do. All righty, and then you are shooting? Mm-hmm. Uh, first one is uh, 32 to hit. That hits. Second shot is, I don't even know what I'm about, uh, 28 to hit. Okay. Good gravy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just, just, first shot is, uh, Sweet. uh is terrible, is 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage, already. Is that, I, I don't have a surprise bonus for that at all, do I? Uh, no, because okay. at this point, they've, mm-hmm. yeah. they've uh, already made them aware. Second yeah, shot. Yeah, no, I didn't do Hunter's Mark. Second shot is? Oh my god, what a terrible roll. Uh, 10 points of damage, that is just, no, I'm so sorry, that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was, it's seven. <laughs> 16 points of damage, that's way better. 16? That seven that looked seven like a one. one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. So, 
<laughs> second shot just destroys most of the upper body of the Shadow Ghast on the left. Um, the loud uh, sound of the gunshots going off in the cavern echoes, mm -hmm. and so you glance so over so and you can with the, you can see the, the skeletons beginning to shift from the other hallway in the direction of where the gunshots came yeah, from. Yeah, and we're, I'm, I'm, we're I'm just booking it. Yeah. Booking it that way? Booking All right, so. Well, so is Pug, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. so as you guys are rushing up, it's gonna, uh, you guys manage to catch up with the rest of them as the final shadow ghast kind of, <laughs> and uh, it only sees currently the two of you. Um, it's going to run forward and is going to, because yeah, at its movement here, get the initiative to shit. Take its movement as a leap. Ah, even at its full distance, it's gonna okay. It's gonna be able to get right up next to you, but it's not gonna be able to actually make an attack. Unfortunately, it gets its full movement and kind of like runs towards you <sighs> with an unnatural uh, speed, and then leaps and then lands on you. Its claws kind of grabbing your chest, and you begin to fall back and about uh, to catch yourself. Brother? And it's stab, being... stab, stab, stab. <laughs> All right, <laughs> go ahead and make your attacks. Yeah. Okay, uh, she's right there. The so rest of you managed to catch up to the group. <laughs> yeah, I'm running, running, yeah, running to the center, to the center tunnel. Everyone else is running in the center tunnel? Center tunnel, center tunnel. Center tunnel. Center tunnel. Okay. Go, 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 go. As you guys approach, uh, you, be, you hit the tunnel and begin to move inside just as eight skeletons begin to curve around the corner. Who, who, who's all in? Are we all in? Uh, no, currently she's still twins. being yeah. assaulted by a shadow ghast. I'm still at the, the door, and I'll say, Lou! Get away from me, you interlopers! Evil, evil doers! They're trying to infiltrate us! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, so, um, so, so you're stabbing at the same character. Yeah. 23, 29, 35, 38, 40, 40 for the first. All right. And then the second one uh, is a seven, and then the, oh, no, no, it's, it's no, it's not seven, it's nine plus psychic damage. Is a seventeen for the second one, and the last one, dink, is a crit, and that is a two eight. That'll do it, actually. So as you just repeatedly jab your daggers <laughs> <to the> back <laughs> <of> the shadow <laughs> guys, its its tongue is lashing out, and its claws are trying to sink into her armor. Uh, it can't seem to find any sort of purchase in her flesh. The horrible smell of its breath is on you, and then you watch as just kind dark of, blood kind of spatters out of its yeah. mouth on you as it's being stabbed to death on top of you. Yeah. The weight pushes you onto your back, and you crumple onto the ground just as it's, it goes limp, and you have to kind of shove it off of you. I take whisper on the venom dagger and just go. Shh. I'm lifted by the head <laughs> off her. Okay. Thanks. Like cornhole. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. As you guys are going to have to do this to action, the rest of you made it to the tunnel, and you can see as the eight skeletons begin to turn around the corner and begin hacking it over the slowest is there, which is probably going to be Pike. Um, so, Pike, you get four skeletons uh, that are able to attack you at oh, this no. entrance. Oh, no. Yeah, four. That's okay. Well, she's got this shit. She's a cleric. Tank. Right? Yeah, right. She's, but she's a monster. Anti skeletons. Uh, uh, 13 right misses. You're fucking with the wrong. Misses, misses. Wrong tag. Uh, they all miss. They're just Yay! scratching. They're just scratching Sorry. at your armor. They can't. They can't I'm manage to get there. through. Um, you guys just run past the skeletons. Yeah, because we're gonna just tunnel this shit anyway, I think right? We're just gonna all get in and then grog them and have you punch, punch the punch the, the darkness. Sure. Yeah. The punch all right. The so you guys the all darkness. continue to run in. Um, the as you guys run past. <laughs> Uh, Pike, four attacks opportunity on you from the ones that were just attacking you. No. Uh, 15, no. No. 17, no. What's your armor class? 23. Come on. 23. 19. It rolled naturally, plus four. That is 23. Oh. One does manage to finally get you. One out of eight. 23 armor class? It swings out with its short sword at you, and you take eight points of piercing damage. Pike. As one of the one of the uh, skeletal short swords st strikes across the back of your armor, it glides off and catches you in the edge of the ear, and you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> um, but you guys continue to run into this. Are you running with them? So bad, but I need yes, to know we need to go. I'll I'll run, but I'll say no. No, don't take me with you. I okay. need to stay As here. You're, you're a hostage now. Yes. As you're shouting this yes. to no, no, skeletons, no. Uh, you you're kind of like shouting. And you glance off the, the back of your shoulder and you see the um, uh, what looks like a bit of torchlight emerge as um, a black orb burns through a stone wall. Ah! Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Where go. Did go. They get that thing. Grog. 
So I'll just wait till everybody's through and I'll right. just pinpoint. Like, They're going to be coming from behind us. Do I see like a cracked or nice weakened part in the archway that I can smacky smack? Um, make an investigation check. Off that, yeah. You can you know, look around and like put your hand through to find a specific place. Hold on to your butts. Licks his finger. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, maybe. Can I? I like the maybe. maybe. I just reel back and just hit the fucking shit out of it. All right, go ahead and roll. Okay. Black face. That's nice. That, that's nice. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. That hits. All right. So we're rolling. <laughs> that hits the wall. The wall. You got yeah. it. What do I roll? My D four. D four with the gauntlets and then add your strength modifier. <laughs> That's a four uh, plus. Oh, that's a one. That's one a plus one. nine. All right. So, as you slam your fist in the wall, part of it kind of breaks and cracks, and you can see Earth's beginning to fall and filter in, but it's not enough to take it down. You can look down. You can hear the ah! of multiple skeleton voices. Yeah. You can yeah. see I'm a bunch of them are rushing up the hallway can I shoot at you. The skeletons that are approaching. Sure, go for it. Mm-hmm. As well, okay, so. both of you guys make your firing. All right. I'm gonna throw. And then, and then yeah. throw your second punch. So that's gonna do it. 26 and 27 32. to hit. 25 right. and uh, 28. All hit. Go to yes. all damage. 32, 12, 24. Nice. 24 points damage. Well, 12 and then. Right, then. Yes. Yeah. So. As you guys all fire, begin to prepare your weapons. You, you strike out uh, with your arrows, with your with your gun blast, with your your daggers. Just as the top of the cavern <laughs> caves in, swallowing whatever projectiles you were throwing, um, as well as closing off the entrance way. But you can see now, as it falls forward, parts begin to <laughs> kind of shift. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to bolt backward. I pick up Pike and we start running. Okay, yeah. so you're grabbing Pike by the back of her armor, and you guys are rushing, rushing. Um, it is starting to <laughs> collapse and to fall behind you. Um, and at that moment, you feel the <laughs> the low sub vibration of another Titan footfall. At that point, it sends the rest of this cavern into a more rapid collapse. Um, and as you can hear the the cracking sound of the rocks behind you, Rog. Um, Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. Mm. Oh god. I have advantage on those, it's okay. If we're all running together, it gets plus two from me. If he's within ten feet. Uh you guys are probably a little bit higher up all than right. him, since he's keeping the back. Sorry, buddy. Seventeen. Seventeen? Okay. You uh as you're moving forward and you're rushing and rushing, uh some of the rocks begin to slam into you. Um both you and Pike oh, no. suffer uh seven points of bludgeoning damage. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh from the impact of rocks. And um Go ahead and make a an athletics check. No. Not raging. No. Matt, jiggle that, that chord, get that music going. 23. 23? 14 plus three. Yeah, so the rocks begin to, to collapse around you and they begin to pin your body, but the physical strength you have manages to break through and you are not currently held in the collapsing Thank tunnel, God. beginning to push forward. You guys all begin to rush slowly, the sounding of the collapsing tunnel subsides as you begin to glance upward and see the color of green blue light oh. approaching. Oh my god. Approaching us? Or like we're we can approaching see the, see the sky. We can see the sky and oh, we're causing music. collapse behind us. There's music with the green blue light. Oh god. Well, we're up in Thermfall. Carefully, oh. carefully. Can we slow down at all or do we just have to keep booking it to avoid <laughs> the cave in? Make perception check. Hmm. Eighteen? Uh, it sounds like the crumbling noises uh, have begun to subside, and all you can hear now is the slow resting and easing of existing loose rubble and rock. Yeah, just the slow clattering behind you. So we can slow down. You guys can slow down. You're about 15 feet from the surface at this point. Very carefully see what's up there and find some cover. We've we still got past without a trace because I didn't cast Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Go look. Who are you people? Oh my god, drop, drop it. it. What do you want with me? I reach over to Skeleton and I rip his, <laughs> like his hair off. <laughs> you reach out and your hand passes through nothing. <gasps> oh no, no. That is a great hat. <laughs> I, I just got a new 45 stealth check, so I'm going to go pee. Jesus. <laughs> look at that face. We're level 19. I'm level 19, I've y'all. I've got a bad new pair of roller <laughs> shades. I've got a brand new stealth check. All right. <laughs> Shit. So, what I got. <laughs> as you as you peek up past yeah. the, the edge, yeah. the sky above you glows a sickly teal color. 
as the darkened storm above is obscured by the crackle of the arcane barrier that encases the city. Glancing at the size of the barrier and the points of origin, you can see that only the inner portion of Tharamphala is here. Um, the inner wall and everything within uh, is in the, in the outer regions for that like left in the shadow fell when it was transported. Peppered, shifting shapes of winged, uh, black cluster creatures scan the sky above. Dozens and dozens of gloom stalkers seeking any sight of intruders across the enclosed atmosphere of this arcane dome. In the distance, you can see the terrible spire of Entropis standing once more, a web-like network of greenish energy forking like veins across the exterior to hold the structure firm. A muffled boom is heard. You glance up and see from the outside of this dome what looks to be an explosion burst across the magical barrier, harmless and dissipating. Squinting hard, you can make out the obscured shapes of what appear to be wyvern riders, uh, swarming and circling oh the outside of the barrier. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Um, oh god. Was there any city on the way to Basil? Like, sorry. Well, the you traveled with wyvern riders. Okay. 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 You, have, you don't know how many there are, okay, but just okay. but do note you did travel with wyvern riders. Okay. Travel out to meet. Them, uh, tossing thing. occasional weapons that you see bounce off and shatter with sparks across this barrier. Um, nothing is coming through, and they're just trying to find a weak point somewhere on what is encasing this. Currently, no help to you in your circumstance. You see a massive skyship hovering far above. That's just unable to do anything and is staying far enough out of reach it's to not. Unfortunately, fall. We just have to get these shields down. You catch a flashing glance of a huge winged beast streak across the top of the barrier. A glittering brass dragon. <gasps> An arcing blast of arcane energy fires from the barrier, striking Jamansa Orb. <gasps> who briefly jolts from the impact, but barely changes course to curve away and out of sight. As your vision now begins to focus down on the city around you, you can see the Mostly intact buildings you recall from your last jaunt through Tharam Fala. The interior of the city less war damaged from past history phrase. Here you stand. And here's where we're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll uh, return here in a few minutes. Um, we have a video at the break to Go. give you guys ready for the Wormwood giveaway. Oh um, once again, uh, help out with the uh, earthquake. <laughs> Uh, recovery in Mexico if we can, um, and we're going to go ahead and see you guys here in a few minutes. So, wow. see you in a minute. This week was packed full of the good stuff. Let's see what you missed on Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, and Alpha. Halloween is here. Well, not quite, but it's close enough for us. Starting on October 1st, tune in for Halloween-themed episodes of your favorite Nerdist shows, spooky articles, and more. Keep checking Nerdist.com for more bone-chilling updates. woo -hoo! Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Thor Ragnarok came out 30 years ago? Well, now you don't have to. The brilliant minds at Nerdist have released a 1987 version of the Thor Ragnarok trailer, and it is oh so silly and nostalgic. Even the director and cast members love it. Nerdist's own science Thor, Kyle Hill, has a great new episode of Because Science For Ya about another fair-haired character. If you've ever swooned over how gracefully Legolas prances around and walks on top of snow, Kyle is going to let you know just how dense he would have to be to do so. It must be elven hair magic. Guess what? The voice you are hearing right now is releasing a brand new show. It's called Darren and Amy Have to Do a Morning Show, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's music, comedy, and zaniness, all at your fingertips on ProjectAlpha.com, Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific. So be there with your coffee or tea. You still have over a week left in September to subscribe to Geek & Sundry's Twitch channel for the first time at half price. 
Go get those sweet perks and thank you for supporting the channel. Earlier this month, we announced the first ever Critical Role comic book, and now it is finally here! Releasing digitally on September 20th, you can get Vox Machina Origins from Dark Horse Comics on your favorite digital platform. And if you are waiting for the hard copy, the anthology will be released in spring of 2018. If you need a cozy piece of clothing that proves you are a critter and a Brian W. Foster fan, there is an adorable new Tox Machina shirt in the GNS store. It's the perfect way to stay turnt while reading the new comic. It's that time of the show for free stuff. This week in the Alpha Forums, we are giving away a Thor and Hulk pack in honor of the Nerdist Thor video. All you have to do is answer the question, you discover you have the ability to pick up Mjolnir, but only when nobody's looking. What do you do with the new superpower? Good luck. We hope you are always finding new things to love on Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, and Alpha. Thanks for watching, and we love you. GM Tips. I'm Satine Phoenix, and today my guest is Satine Phoenix! Yay! What's going on? We haven't had you on as a guest yet. Got it. That makes sense. Question number one. How is this even possible? Good question. Thank you, Satine. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh my god, that's incredible! Satine, would you please GM us out of here? You're just waking up, your eyes are closed, and you're laying horizontally on what feels like giant pillows. Your senses are filled with the smell of incense and fresh baked goods and some, some, some jerky. You open your eyes and on marble, soft, soft marble walls are these warm sconces. You sit up and look around and there is one table and it's covered in fresh food and fruits. Next to it is a decanter, what looks like cucumber, maybe some oranges. On one side is a stone door, on the other side is a wooden door. And you're feeling pretty good. And suddenly you hear boom, 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 the growl, or something. And underneath the wooden door, you see this mist just starting to billow in and it doesn't look good. The people underneath you, you look down, there's an orc. On the other side, there's a fire genasi, and they're starting to wake up. And, and the flames are starting to get higher off the fire genasi, and the orc is, <laughs> is starting to move. And what do you do? What do you do? Johnson, your country needs you. Yeah, we know, Yeah, Chief. man, we just sang a whole song about That's it. That's why we're here. Let's get at it. Yeah, come on, please. Let's get to it. What do you want? What do you want? To tell me where to go. Hey, gang. As always, thanks for watching and supporting Critical Role. It's time for our Wormwood giveaway for tonight's episode. Tonight's prize is this Bolivian Rosewood personal dice tray. To have a chance to win, all you have to do is be active in the Twitch chat and use the code word UNDYING. Make sure to only use it once or you will be disqualified from winning my wood. Congrats to the winner. Enjoy the rest of the show. Stay turned, my friends.
welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back, Ashley. That was the cutest version ever. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we have our winner of the Wormwood giveaway, a Faradar, P-H-A-R-A-D, uh, what looks like an A or an O? Possibly an E, I don't know. R, uh, you are the winner. Um, Zenobo will contact you and get your information so we can send you your awesome signed Wormwood uh, piece of accoutrement. Yeah. So congratulations. All righty. Oh. Coming back into the game, folks. Oh, so as you all are waiting in this tunnel that emerges into Faramfala proper, uh, Vax has taken a visual scope of the surroundings and the current circumstance. What do you do? Vax. Yeah? Does it look like anyone has noticed the noise coming from this tunnel? I was about to uh, assess that. Uh, a couple of questions. One, how far is the tower from where we are right now? Uh, you guys are, you're maybe uh, 100, 150 feet or so from the edge, so you're towards the side of the city. Okay. The tower is in the very center, so it's maybe like half a mile from you. No, no, it's not half a mile, I'm saying half a mile is ridiculous. Um, no, it's maybe like three, four hundred feet from you. And am I able to tell, like, if this is a giant domed-in city, am, are we in like a little corner of it, or are we coming up somewhere mid-range? Uh, somewhat, like, I'd say if you were to if you were to look at it from like an overhead circle view, from yeah. the center, to you're about maybe a little ways near the edge. Okay, so not right against it, but not yeah. too far off. You're about 100, 150 feet from the edge. How how close are the nearest of the gloom stalkers flying around? Uh, at this point, looking up, you see about three or four that are maybe seventy or eighty feet above you. Seventy or eighty feet, and but they're they're mm -hmm. doing passes yes. like they're they're not being stationary and they're constantly circling through. And as you kind of glance up and look and, and nudge away, you can see their yellow eyes piercing from their black lightless form, their wings mm -hmm. as they expand and shift. Uh, you can see that that faint glance, the beams of their vision, just kind of scanning across the rooftops. Like they're all very intent on seeing what's going through the city. And do I see any motherfuckers on the streets? Make perception check. Yeah. <coughs> Use the coal bill die, the meteorite. Ooh. It's Ooh. pretty good. It's pretty good, it's 29. 29, okay. A couple things. One, as you glance through the streets, uh, you can see now uh, why the top chamber of Thamara was so bereft of undead, because they've all been moved topside. You see, uh, just glancing through the bits of street that you have in visual range, maybe 35 to 40 dwarven undead that are just wandering through open spaces, mixing with the various soldiers from battles long past when Tharamphala still existed in the Shadowfell. Um, you've encountered those undead already. Um, you also kind of glance around past the Gloom Stalkers as you're keeping an eye, and uh, as you're scanning through the crowds, you see something different, hmm. larger flying through the skies on the opposite end of the dome. It appears winged with a tail, but porous, like a tattered sail or a ladder. A skeletal beast of long neck and tail makes a baneful circle over the city with burning green-blue eyes. Is it dragon-shaped? It's kind of dragon-shaped. Oh, it's no. It's Daenerys' dragon. Oh, shit, it is. It, does, it, it appears to be dragon. skeletal. It isn't, there is, there is no flesh for it. I mean, a little bit of look you can see, you can see the light behind the dome is, How know. is it even flying? Is there any cut <laughs> color, any color to it other than dead? Bone? Uh, kind of, kind of, not bleached white bone, but yellowish kind of off-white yeah. bone with various shades of, of rot it to it. Target, it's it? made like it's it's just coasting around, and you get one view of it as it begins to spin. You get just a, a faint, a faint, distant glance at it, and you only see one, but it oh, is good. but it's apparently also making its path over the city with the rest of the gloom stalkers. Guys, it does no have fins. these like stretched bits of broken. Yeah. Leftover uh, flesh and leather that are tattered in places. Mm, but um, do me a favor and just stay down there. It's a real party up here, and everybody's dead. I like parties. Uh, there is a dead dragon in the sky. Okay. It is mm. a mash. Fabulous. Um, and there's a lot of a dead lot dwarves of and uh, other various types and those things that Scanlan uh, charmed. Uh, a few days ago, um, it is really shitty up here, so stay Do put. any of them seem to have noticed this tunnel? I don't believe so. Then come back down here. I just back slowly the 15 feet that I travel. Okay. 
So what's the plan here, guys? Um, they were whispering. No, I don't know. About it. I, I don't know how much further we have, but we really need that sword, right? We still have not seen the sword of cats. I've been thinking about that. Oh, good. I haven't come up with anything. <laughs> I've just been thinking. No, we could. We could try and find the object. There are legends that say that the sword was lost somewhere near the city. We are, for as much as we're moving, still in the earth that was somewhere near the city. We could find the sword. Potentially. Potentially. Yeah, maybe it's like in the dirt that we just came by. I really hope we don't have to go back down there, but maybe. Yeah, yeah me too. But it might have been what they were searching for. We have located can, objects. You can scry on people, can you scry on things? I can. I don't currently have locate object with me. We I, have, we I have, have locate object. I can give my scrying eye to Vex. So that we can see it, so that we can locate it. Oh, because we haven't seen it yet. I don't know Potentially. what it looks like. I mean, unless we have seen it, in which case I don't still she know She could what scry it looks on like. the Sword of Cass, I don't think Cass, anybody's seen it in quite a long Death time. I think was holding the Sword of Cass. Well, we'll find out when we scry on it, won't we? Maybe. I pull out the scrying eye, toss it to Vex. Oh, you scribed before? I haven't. Oh shit, you're about to ride the Matrix, girl. Okay, <laughs> You're about so, to plug in. Let me down, 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 down. The first time you know, I was disappointed. Yeah, you kind of have these, like, these rushes. This uh-huh. is equal feel. You know, it can get a little intense. Okay. I always fall the first time. You'll be great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and just focus just real focus hard, though. First just time. focus, I just focus on the sword of Cass. Yes, and try and keep your mind clear and on the sword, or else you'll get like other weird interference, and it gets a lot. Uh, (laughs) I'm thinking of so many other things, but I'm really trying to focus on the sword. Penises. Penises, dicks. What? No, sword, of course. Sword. Sword. (laughs) It's very phallic, but sword. All right, so as you glance into this uh, crystalline sphere, your vision begins to go dark at the edges. Tunnel vision begins to slowly swell and take your view, and you, your breath quickens. It's, it's a really uncomfortable and unfamiliar feeling, but as your vision goes tunnel into the sphere, the, the coloration and the diffraction of the little bit of, of light and vision you have in this tunnel uh, begins to go cloudy and blur, and this tunnel vision withdraws. It gets darker and darker, and you can see before you uh, a hilt of some sort of black blade. It's uh, beautiful and hooked in places, um, and it's surrounded by muck. muck. It's surrounded by what you get a sense of, but, but there's no open space around it. It is just in some thick molasses-like silt. Um, Does it seem like the dirt that's, that's around sh- the Shadowfell? Is it that kind of dirt? Uh, it's it's the same color. From, there's no light in the vicinity. Mm-hmm. You can kind of sense it's there, but but you do sense that 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 the earth around it is not super hard. There is there is a a dampness. When I say silt, I mean like this oh, appears no, no, to have been. Oh no! Dicks again. Hold on, sword. <laughs> Focus, Focus. Focus. Okay. Big black sword. <laughs> 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 We're gonna die. Sword. It seems to be. <laughs> <laughs> submerged somewhere. <Okay>. In... <laughs> oh, no. Children. Focusing and focusing. So you see it before you, but because it's it's seemingly buried uh, in this this area of of. of uh, Damp rock and, and silt. Uh, you can't. You have no other idea of where it is. Okay, but I did get a good look at it at least. I mean, as much as the scry spell can can employ us. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, thanks, Stone. <laughs> <laughs> it was not being held by that night. <clears throat> oh. No. It was buried somewhere. I told you it was where we just walked by. I don't. I don't know. If I'm going to give. True. Facts, a super, 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 super detailed description. I don't know if it helps, but I know we can both cast locate objects. Yeah, but you saw it. Yeah, but I'm giving you a really detailed description. But I didn't see it. We're twins, it's not how it we're works. twins, look into my mind. Can, can you have I? the spell, yeah? Yeah. So you should do it. Can I 
have my scrying eye back? inspire her, perhaps? Inspire her to... Have you just tried on any of us without us knowing? <clears throat> you can admit no. it. It's okay. No. Come clean. She's a terrible liar, Tell the truth. Know. I wanted to scry on Scanlan, but then Grog wouldn't let me. Well, why would you want us? Hmm. Scry on me. You were oh, when you were missing and we didn't know if you were safe or not. To make sure you were If you okay. did, you would have seen this. Just a big black sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wet rabbit. Is, is that what you go big? Wow. Yep. <laughs> I'm a little guy. <laughs> Look, it's bigger, really? it's bigger than my mug. <laughs> By no more standards. Did you really paint Myth Carver black? Why would you do Just that? Just <laughs> <laughs> He would. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna, long walk. I'm gonna um, cast locate object and and envision this sort of cast and see if I it's okay. around us. Look at both fast. I moments. have it again. I cast it at third level though because I used up all my um. Seconds. Second level. Okay. So we're really in the located within a thousand feet of you. Okay. Is it a roll? No, it's just a thing. It just happens. In a, in a brief instant, you close your eyes, recite the incantation, snap your finger. As you do, from behind your closed lids, you immediately feel this draw, this sense, this direction. Um, it is not moving, it is stationary, and it is. 3,000 miles away. No. No, it's been 1,000 miles. Um, Since the direction. All right, so you know the direction of it at all times. You don't know quite how far from you it is, yeah. but you sense it's lateral and down Ugh. from where you are. Constant. Deeper towards the city, but at a downward angle. So, underground. So we don't have to go above ground to find it. Do you guys want to spend time getting the sword? It would be <clears throat> advantageous. We really need it. I mean, it's. It's super important to fighting Vecna. Right? We had the ability to tunnel through Earth, but this guy let it go. Who are you people? Let me go. I I'm innocent. Your <laughs> wife left you. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what, about the back story? <laughs> what about the Earth Elemental thing that you were going to do? Can you still do that and mm. tunnel with that? That lets me glide through Earth. It doesn't let me tunnel. I can do a move Earth spell. Not like that. You can't take me with you if you glide through the earth, can you? You would die. Mm. You would suffocate and be crushed from the pressure oh. of the earth. Um, but I, I, I <laughs> could. You to hop in your On the bright and give side. It to her in her elemental form. Oh shit! But you wouldn't what, be able what? to help her find it. That's true. In a necklace. That's the, that's the whole point. It's that oh. direction. That's pretty is, cool. Is it the direction though. that we came from, or the direction that? We are going. The direction but down. you're going, but down, like a like a like hopping Earth orbit. We don't know if there's even any catacombs or anything down there. It could no. just be buried in solid Earth. Which is why Keyleth is clutch. And it could be a thousand feet down. That's probably what they were Keyleth looking for. That's probably what they were looking for. Oh shit! But they were going the wrong way. I can keep blowing his mind like this. It's quite nice. Can't blow mine. I know. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> Shit. We Do you know how close it is? It's within a thousand feet. It's within a right? thousand feet and up and down. Yeah, no, I only it's sense things within a thousand feet. feet. I wasn't saying that to you. Oh. <laughs> how, how much of a problem is, is the move Earth, and how far can you go a thousand feet with the move Earth? What if well, I just point Keyleth in the direction? Can you glide as an Earth elemental and find it that way? Do consider, once you do find it, the sword cannot Earth glide with you. Oh, it can't? Mm. Earth glide is only for your physical form. Sphere of. If only somebody had it sent it away. Go back and get it. Which is, by the way, chasing behind us still. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably. A good point. <laughs> all right. But when it catches up to us, we'll take right, it back. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh <laughs> no. Maybe see if you can sense it right now. See if you can take it back right now. Simon. Simon. Answer your master. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. Okay, okay, hang on. You can raise your hand. Okay. Um, Spell only right. lasts for 10 minutes, by the way. Huh? Oh, I don't know we have to move minutes. quick. You gotta move quick. I'm just gonna have to keep casting okay. it. We gotta. Let's okay, go. just then. Um, down and find all right, it. here's the thing I have, I have an 8th level spell left, and I have a ninth level spell left. 
I want to save one of those. I can, I can move Earth and make forty feet for tunnels for up to two hours. As I go, as I go. It's cool, because we only got ten minutes. Do we have the gate mm-hmm. stones? Both of them. I get, I've got two more chances yeah. to. Do oh, we have wait, both gate of the stones? gate stones? Not Do we have gate both stones? Aren't they called? No. Whatever, but yeah, Do the we gate have stones. Them? Yeah. Okay. I have. I have one. I have a great idea, but it'll take a little time. I have a little tub of, of oil uh, that makes you ethereal. And if one of us, you, me, whoever, travels to the ethereal plane and walks down to the sword and waits with it and then pops back into the material plane. Underground. With, finds it and then waits somewhere. I mean, I'm assuming I've that this- I've got another idea. All right. <laughs> but your idea led to this idea. It's a building process. What if Keyleth took one of the gate stones, mm-hmm. glid down there as an earth elemental, grabbed the sword, and then just bamped back to us? Yeah. Well, could that work? She'd have to become a different form. An earth elemental. No, I mean, your ethereal idea. Mentioned. Do you leave your physical yeah, body? Well, you still no, I, be, I am on a different plane parallel to this one. She'd become an earth elemental in solid earth. It takes, it takes a minute to activate the stone, though. You would be down there. That's the problem. That's why Keyleth could do it. It's not yeah, an yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can. It, he said I can't. The the voice from above said I can't glide the sword with me. Uh-huh. But I should be able to grab it and then concentrate and change yeah. your form into an earth elemental. No, well, so it's already, already be an earth elemental, and then I'll have the gate stone, and then. Do you have any sense of if it's buried buried deep, or is it sitting in a puddle of shit? Or? I can send her in a direction. I can tell So we her. just don't know. I do need, okay, uh, all right, all right. This is, uh, this is a good plan, this is a good plan. What if we combine plans? Can, because etherealness can let you glide through your plane, right? It is kind of like a glidey thing, but for all kind things. Of yeah. Stranger. Right, so oh. can you take the potion, piggyback on me, we glide together, Get the sword, come back. Hold on to but you. she but could. I can. But I would help her find it. Yeah. But you. Okay. But you yeah. would just be a mist. Yeah. How would you tell her anything? She would follow her. She could hear me. We're How are you going to see? No, We've got our awesome telekinetic No, you're, you're, you're mist. You, you have can't to stop the whisper in the ear. Uh, Through two different dimensions. It's audible. It's two different yeah, planes. But if you or I would locate object, uh, douse ourselves in this oil, and we, and we locate the object, we know exactly where it is, and we move toward it, and then go down there and see what the deal, it might be encased in a ton of stone or something, we don't know, but if it it's not. It was new stone, okay, it was loose, it was mucky. But we could go toward it, find it, and then go sit 20 or 30 feet away from it, wait to pop back into this plane, go grab it, gate stone up here. That's not a terrible idea. If, the if your stuff works that way. And if you can find a place to pop back into existence exactly. 30 feet away. Well, and I can I can make tunnels though if I go as long as I go I with you. you. But she can't find it. Fuck! I can't find it alone. If we make the tunnel, I can get I can get close. Me. All right. Well, then try try it's the person with the spell. And moves a lot of stuff also, and I, shit collapses. I should try me. to do it because yeah, if I come back, I'm gliding in a wall it. of stone. It's not like a car. Right, right. Thing. It doesn't matter. All in favor of the ethereal idea, raise your hand. How long does it last? An hour. All in favor of the Earth oh, Glide okay. Elemental. Where's your hand? Wait, I thought we had to have more or less both, so. You have to have both. Oh, we do. Why? Yeah. We have the gate stone. Ethereal will take me down toward the thing. I wait by it, pop back into material, pick it up, gate stone back. I don't Is gate need stone immediate? No, it takes a minute, minute to do. You're not going to be, that's not how Earth works, though. You can't yeah. wait down there and then switch back and then think you can grab this. We don't know this. that we're going through solid Earth. It could be sitting in, a, in a, like a foot deep puddle of muck in a cavern somewhere. Yeah. It it's not like it was teleported into a solid mountain. It was it buried. Have been. It, it, it might, might have, been. have been. If it was sitting under a foot deep of muck, someone would have found it by now. We've been stealthing for not too much space. I think that I could get pretty far. But she knows where it is. Well, yeah. I could do the same thing that she just did. All right, do it. But she knows what it looks like. I he can do that. If you hand me that bauble it. again, I can do the same thing. Unfortunately, it's already been used. Correct. Then. <laughs> Gotta let Vex go. Once a day. Vex has to go. Gotta let Vex go. 
Vex or Kiki. Oh, that's hilarious. It's it, it's got to be a Vex and Kiki. That's the thing. It can't be. It's got to be both of us. Can you follow? Can you follow her? No. She cannot. Mm-hmm. What? She won't be able to see her. You if you're ethereal, you're in it's a different ethereal plane. plane. What, but I it's wouldn't be able to. Though. Okay, but here's that. Okay, no, you're stealthy you as fuck. Not see her if she's on the other plane. You're stealthy as fuck. Yeah. We can get there, get close enough, get above it. And then You're go from going there. in the open air, risking the open air to get closer. She's stealthy as fuck, and I can glide under the dirt. It leaves a lot yeah. of room for a bad roll. Or we just make a tunnel and we all go. Yeah, just just start tunneling. Why don't you go it? find it and come back and tell us? Jesus Christ! Let's try. <laughs> let's try your idea. You thought that I would be able to locate it just by you telling me about it. So what did it look like? I explain exactly what it looked like. Awesome! Try I'm going to cast locate object right now. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Uh, as you cast the spell, you close your eyes and snap your fingers. It can't find anything. Unfortunately, you have to have seen the object for the spell to have an effect. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the. No, I'm not upset at you. <laughs> no, he's not at me. I'm upset at Laura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this was uh, my idea on the break and it got yanked oh, from me. Shit. But what are you going to do? Okay. I'm not upset. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not upset. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm taking my marbles and I'm going home. So what? How how long can you tunnel? Or like how long in each tunneling thing? How Plus, fast? Plus, if I give you a direction, you can just tunnel in that direction. You can earth glide in that direction until you find the sword. Grab a hold of it and just try to bamf back. Let's just try that. Or tunnel back. With you with you telling me where it is, just I'll point you in the well, direction. Okay. What's Here's the range the on the earring? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Can she just also, guide me wait, through wait, it like a good, wait, you know? Wait, wait. Simon says the ring, within sixty feet of each other. Oh, yeah. all Jesus! All a waste of time. Fucking balls! Except for the yep. tunnel. All a waste of time. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking tunnel. Fucking tunnel. Fucking tunnel. This was. The so much D and D, right there. All the D and D. All the D and D. That was like that was like ten uh, pounds. Everyone of D &D who's ever a, played D and D is pounds. right now going. Yep. yep. <laughs> I've been there. Yep. All right. So tunnel. what's the plan? We tunnel wow, towards the fucking we sword. We all go together. An we awesome collapse the tunnels minutes. behind us. Jesus. Parker, Pike and I charge. Oh, so oh, no, no, all right. No. <laughs> we go, we, okay. You lead us. We go straight We're there. Still fucking stealthy. Less than a thousand feet. Okay, let's go. I know that this is burning, but but we've got no that choice. That probably okay. used all of the look, but we know the direction. Just yeah. go in that direction and it'll yeah. work. Are we going to try and go up above ground in here? No. We're just tunneling all the way there. Right there. there. All in right. The direction that I'm pointing, tunnel that way. I'm going to burn right. my eighth level spell oh on God. move earth. Oh my you God. Okay. I saw the ninth. Okay. Okay. And then this is reaching the end of my shit. All right, so this lasts for two hours concentration, and you can move a 40 foot space. Mm -hmm. To create a tunnel every ten minutes. Every oh, ten minutes. Jesus. That's, so that's useless. Under a thousand, under a thousand feet. The and locate object hours. only lasts ten minutes. So well, we know the direction within a thousand feet. Right. Yeah, so. you can hope get we close and then the you can cast it again. again twice. I have two more yeah, times yeah. to cast it. A thousand yeah. feet is not that far. <laughs> but no. isn't it? Did you say forty feet? Well, it's it's forty feet. And every ten minutes. minutes. Right. That and doesn't. The math doesn't work. We've got three of those, so we're we're going hundred and twenty feet. No, 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 no. We don't need she to keep can casting just keep going that direction for a while. And then I'll cast it again. That's in a little assuming bit. we hit no pockets. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I think it's 240 more... feet, that's, that gets us 480 total feet p possible. But I think in two it's hours. more likely that this, thing is, this thing is sitting in a, in a pool of stilted water. It's, not, it's probably not encased in a passageway of stone. Okay. Okay. Because how did it get there? Then, if that's the case, we have to move on foot above ground quickly and get close, and then I can tunnel this down. Okay. I, re I think that's the only way. Okay. Or, uh, other than that, we're taking several hours. Let's, you're right, we don't have several hours. All right. At a very slow pace. Oh, we might not get there. If we see an entrance oh to the underground while Two we're near there. plus things flying around, Pike and I are going to roll some stealth checks. It'll be great. All right. Fuck. So, I, I mean, how the do you ring. feel about this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Anybody know that joke outside of this room? <laughs> yes, they oh, do. We, that's right, the Instagram did. Scanlan. Yes. You still have a, ma a mansion? I do. We could break this up. We could break this up. Scanlan casts the mansion. We split the party. 
and we have a, a stealth team go get the sword and come can't back while the rest of us. Can't you, split up. Knows really if well. they're in the mansion, though, you can't sense anybody in the mansion. Uh, you can't oh, sense anyone oh, in the mansion. Oh, sorry, so sorry. we cast the mansion while you're still here. Half the party goes in. Team stealth sword recovery plan goes out, gets the sword while the rest of the team oh, yeah, yeah, camps yeah. in the yeah. mansion. If there's anything around that sword when you get there, you're on your own. That, yeah. Then we just go away. We don't try to fight it. Unless we all want to decide right now, right here and right now, to try and get closer to the sword than the thousand feet we are potentially away from it right now together yeah, no, as a I, team I and it. then cast it. the mansion. Or just not at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think there is there is an upside to Pike and I not having to roll those stealth, stealth checks, even with Pass Without a Trace. But if there's anything around that sword, it's going to be up to you to either fight it and get the sword or, or get the fuck out. Avoid yeah. it, yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to do that? Stealth team is, is not me, right? It's you two. Yeah. It'd be yeah. like uh, us three. Us two and maybe maybe Vax as well. Yeah. Corner three. You three. I'm not that stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Does anyone have a better plan? This is where we're going with. This is what we're doing with. Do it. Do it. Yeah, all right, right. fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay then. We're also committing that this is where the mansion's gonna live for the for the night. For 24 hours. Yeah. Is this a good spot for? The sphere for it? is coming out soon. We maybe should not. Keila Vex, you feel a very faint vibration in the ground. Uh, yep. Uh, we need uh, to get does, out of here. Does the sphere fuck up the mansion? It's we a disintegration know. spell, so. It Probably. will. Probably. We need to get out. We gotta go on a roll. On anyway, foot. Doesn't matter. Outside. We we gotta gotta no, no, no. The mansion can't be seen. It's, 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 but it's just They would have to know that it's there. It Even if it accidentally hits it, it's toast. Well, we can hide it behind a closet or we something. Got it. There's no closet. We're in, a, we're in a tiny tunnel. I always carry a closet with me. <laughs> we know. It's not a metaphorical closet. <laughs> Okay. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Oh, the closest guy. building. Yeah, let's yes. peek up and is yeah. anything near us right now. Okay, and, and try like, whatever the closest building is closest to the, the, the sword. We're gonna die. All right, so you guys Fuck all emerge it. out into the open Fuck light. No, no, we don't. we don't. We look. We peek up first Just to see if anything's near stupid. us. Make a perception check. Who, oh, all of us? No, just the ones who are looking. Yeah. Uh, That's your wall. 27. 31. Okay. The two of you glance off uh, as you're emerging within. Um, <laughs> well, you're you're exiting from what looks to be um, a hole in the middle of a street uh, that has been just dug down. Um, from this point, you can see there's a, a nearby building, maybe 20 feet from you, that is a two-story building that is partially collapsed but still mostly intact. It's still there. Is there it's, anything? It's a 20-foot run to get there, but I mean, yeah, there's there's, there's Shit. boom, boom, like. There's a gloom stalker at any given point in time within 100 feet of you. Like they're they're all keeping a net of movement around. Throw that blue crystal as far Grog, as I can. Pike, the, stick stick with me. The thing's coming behind. Yeah, maybe. So we Grog, 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 Pike. Okay. I'm, we're gonna walk. I'm gonna walk with Grog and Pike. Your rocks beginning to oh, emerge. Grog and Pike. Okay, to, the to the building. To the building. I grab oh, Grog, I grab Grog and Pike. We're gonna run ropes. together. Ropes. I activate my silence spell. Okay. You two are in my silent spell. I've got Pike in my hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you still path, pass without a trace. Still yeah. Pass without a trace. Let's still. No, I make that because when you cast locate object, that stops. I recast it. Okay. Fuck. It's okay. I recast it. Okay. Mark that off. Jesus Christ. So. Yep. I mean, as you guys all emerge topside, rushing this this twenty feet distance, I need you all to make stealth checks. Just uh, make Grog, advantage. Grog, you make it with advantage. Okay. You're still visible. Yeah. That doesn't um, take up one of your locate object spells, does it? Then let me pa- let me let me cast okay, it. Okay, then do it. Let me cast it. Yeah. I'm casting pass without a trace, not her. Nice. Yes. Oh wow. That was natural, a good roll. natural 18 spell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, using what spell level? Nice. We're adding it. Uh. <laughs> huh? Using what spell level? Second. Oh, so you have other spells. Sorry, I misheard. I thought you only had a ninth level spell slot. No, 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 no. I'm talking no, no. Okay. about my, my big like, Mac Daddies in order ones. to still yeah. cast other so things. Gotcha. Yeah, no, okay. yeah, my big ones. You were all going to stealth. You two. So yeah. For both of us. But you have advantage. You had to roll for both of us? Yeah. Yep. But Just I had for, advantage. I think we're okay. For everyone paying attention, I have three first level spells left, no second level spells, two third, one fourth. Never tell me the odds. And, a ninth. Do I and have then an eighth and a ninth. Wow. And that's it. You have advantage. Do I have advantage? Wow. Well, I might have we advantage get... also, because oh. hmm? I'm in I'm in the silent spell also. Yeah, sure. So you do. So, it. Not that I'd need it, but I'm just. But still, I rolled a nice. That that uh, advantage saved that whole yeah. thing from going no. tits up. <laughs> All right, it's worth burning. Because that first roll was. <laughs> <laughs> so. Twenty five. 
Uh, natural 19, so like 29. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 18 plus 9 plus another 10, 30, uh, 8. Okay. Ooh, 37. 46. Ooh. 24. 46. Wait, don't high five shit yet. Why are you high fiving? What the fuck? What's <laughs> wrong with take you people? Back, take it back! Jesus. Okay. What'd you roll? What did Pike get? She was being oh, Pike, Pike was being oh, okay. carried. His role was dependent on both of them. Yeah. Um, What'd you roll? 24. So. As you guys dart through the open light, the first time you've seen light since arriving in this Titan, and most of the most of the light here, because the sky outside is super dark, but there is uh, uh, most of the light here is actually emanating from the barrier. It's creating its own kind of false, almost uh, twilight sense within this entire city. Um, and as you rush past into the room, you all dart into the nearby doorway. There's a half a jar door that's kind of broken, and you just kind of push through. Um, being careful not to slam into it or to break it to cause any noise, but you all rush into this chamber. Immediately, the smell wafts of, of old decay, and glancing around, you can see uh, what look to be long, dried bits of, of flesh or nondescript innards that have long withered and turned to partial dust. Um, but you all kind of come into the shadow of the chamber and take a moment and breathe. You hear the distant sound like. You hear one perch on one of the buildings about one block down. And continue off. It does not appear that you are currently being stalked or noticed. Uh, okay. So here's what going to be, right? Make that. Yes. It does. They can't hear you. It does. It is visible. So is there a closet in here or some sort of. Alcove, or if I recall correctly, the entrance is only visible to people that you want to signify. Yeah. Yeah. Look, is, is it no, said that's, that's people it, can, who see invisible things can see it? Don't talk well, yourself true. out of this, man. Yeah, the entrance sure. shimmers faintly and is five feet wide it's and visible. ten feet tall. You and any creature you designate can enter. Oh, okay, it is visible, but only only creatures you designate can, can uh, enter. That's the difference. So it is a faint shimmer, right? So we should we have to hide spell, it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make an investigation check. Fun part. All right, then I'll drop silence. Can I help him find a place that would be hidden? Uh, investigation, I got a 23. 23? 22. 22. Okay. You go to help him, and uh, you guys come, I mean, most of the furniture in here is just destroyed and withered. You go upstairs, and there is a double door cabinet, like a, a cupboard. Uh, nice. Uh, Do it in, in the cupboard. The Lion, the Witch, and the yeah, Wardrobe. Yeah, it is! <laughs> <laughs> or Narnia, one of the two, I guess. If you I'm so excited. Movies. Harry Potter lives in there. Yeah. <laughs> I started reading Harry Potter. Oh, I'm so glad. Story? Yeah, yeah. No. I'm on chapter three. Oh my god. Greetings, time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to take you to Universal. Oh, wow. That's gonna be so great. All right, so you cast the mansion in the cupboard. Yes. Oof, the shimmering purple hue, the familiar vision of the door, the Scanlan's magnificent mansion, arrives. So who's going and who's staying? Is it Pike Grog, Percy, and Scanlan staying? I hold out my hand go? to Vex, and I say, "Good luck." I hold out my hand to Vex, and I say, "Take care of him." <laughs> Just in case, I'm going to leave. Is it is it wise? Do you think to leave one of the gate stones outside the door, mm. and you take one so that if you need to port back to it? It's just here. That's a good call. That is a good call. That is a very good call. Yeah, Does someone really have to be holding it? No. Nope. Oh, no. It just has to be within the. Ca- just put it in the cupboard. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it in the like in the kitchen. What's like tran- a little to transfer it to a gate stone? Mm-hmm. No, you you have to to activate it and hold it on one side, but it just brings you to wherever the gate stone is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put one of the gate stones mm-hmm. like in the corner, yeah, just so yeah, it's not yeah. so obvious. Good call. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Yeah. 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 And then you, you guys have the other one. Yeah. I have the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I feel like, mm, never mind. You get back on your own pretty easily, yeah? Uh, what, Tunneling through stone? Do you have that left? That's done. Uh, no, I, I, if I'm an earth elemental, I can earth glide. I yeah. do still have that. Okay, cool. I feel like maybe Vex should carry the stone then. She has less of a chance of getting back on her own. Yeah. Hopefully we're together, though. Yeah. But of course yeah. we will, of course we will. I toss her Vex a gate stone. Okay. Yeah. Pocket it. Good luck. You sense you maybe have three more minutes in your spell, by the way. Thanks. All right, Let's go. Uh, it's that direction. All right, we're in the mansion. Okay, the rest of you head into the mansion quietly. <laughs> if we drink wine tonight, it will only be 
in remembrance of you. <laughs> or just to get schnookered. The yeah. vegan wine. Before, yeah. if we don't come back, the red wine will be in remembrance. Save us while I'm on your own in the entire world. Empty chairs and empty tables. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. The team stealth is stealthing as far as we can, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh my god. Team Hapa! Yeah! This is me saying this, not, not Keyleth. Keyleth. Okay. Okay, good enough. All right, yeah. so as you all vanish in the mansion, you are safely Bibble outside Rick. of the need to utilize the radial uh, portion of oh, the right. ring. Oh, yeah. God, freak the, me out. The three of you, uh, with the spell quickly waning, you begin to make your way outdoors. I need them to stealth check for Another the three of you. Another one? I love you guys, please come back. Oh, God. Don't worry, pick up. Oh, that's all right, don't fuck me, Opal Die. Oh god, oh god. That's, that Opal Die fucked me. No. Wait, do I have advantage? Or no? You have no. plus 10. And we're plus 10, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right out the of the bat. gate! Keyleth. Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Does my luck transfer to anybody? No. <laughs> no. Can I do any? Can I? Can I do anything else? <laughs> okay, let's go. Boom, bam, and I run into a door. So, as you guys rush outward into the open Watch way, me, you begin to head across the thoroughfare, following Vex, who's currently leading the charge, and you can sense it down below. Um, at this point, and based on the trajectory of it, make an intelligence check. They like covered for me. Right? Tripped up on daylight. I covered here. Loud yeah. noise. Intelligence or yeah, just just intelligence plus your or roll plus your intelligence Ooh, modifier. Uh, oh, oh, well, well, okay. Uh, you're not sure the distance or based on the angle, but you know yeah. it's getting closer. So you guys have been darting from building to building. Uh, Keyleth is struggling a bit behind and ends up stubbing her toe and instinctually ah. like a yelp sound. No! Um, at which point you hear a distant shriek. A Can you glide? Down? I mean, God! I mean! Wow, way worse. That's a one. Earth element, just go underground. That was go amazing. Underground. Earth elemental. All right, and you just <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Thankful, like, actually, because there are there there is like kind of kind of an old ancient cobblestone walkway here with, with loose stone, but portions of it have been destroyed and broken, and you can find loose earth easy enough. So you just dart in and I, I throw it like a you tile and I go. Yeah, you scrooge duck dive into the yeah. stone. Or could you as do you that guys, thing where you say, I'll take the stairs. <laughs> as you guys dart off to the side and you watch as two Gloomstalkers <laughs> land where she was and kind of. <laughs> they begin to scan over and look through, and <laughs> they're walking forward on their, their large, hefty, muscular hind legs, walking past where you guys are hiding off to the side, and they stop and then turn around. One of them scans past, and you both barely duck out of the way. They both take off one after the other. Fuck. Fuck. God damn it! Does that okay. burn your spell? Are you done? No, no, no. I'm, I'm bee shaped. I'm an earth elemental right now. Okay, so I, I kind of, I have tremor sense, right? Yeah. You okay. sense, you sense their footfalls. I sense the, the kids. I, I sense the, the kids. I'm gonna the cast, twins. Uh, locate object one more time. Oh, that takes me out of stealth, doesn't it? Yeah. Can I duck in? Is no, there... no, no, no. B oh. But I have passed without a trace, which is still going. Yes. So. Do you vaguely remember the direction it was? Yeah, I remember so the direction. So maybe we go vague. Yeah, let's get closer first. Okay. Okay. Um, here's okay, so I thing. pop my like head out, like oh, like jawsing just <sighs> under the. Can I just point in the direction and have her keep following it? And I'm gonna be like. I, I'm, I'm gonna follow their footsteps. Okay, that's like, good with enough. With my tremor sense. And as such, you don't have to make a stealth check. So when I go so back you just under. down below and you follow their footsteps underneath, you guys continue on your current stealth run. Um, you get forward about another 150 or so feet. Yeah. Uh, do you want to keep going or do you want to? Uh, cast is there like a uh, abandoned looking building or anything I can duck into? Uh, there's a handful. Like most of the city has been long abandoned. Okay, then I'm gonna duck. Under something, so I can cast the spell and then restealth before I come back out, so I don't just like bamf in the middle of the. Right. Okay. So you duck into a small alleyway. You guys are keeping best out of view and waiting for uh, because there are the swarms of undead in the street. And as you come around the corner, you can immediately see about twelve or thirteen zombies kind of just clattering past. And as they're as you're waiting for them to pass by, eventually they get quieter and quieter. You take them and you cast the spell, locate object, and it's a much steeper angle now. Um, you're getting much closer to it. 
Um, so, do you want to keep going? Uh, yeah, yes, I want to re-stealth and, and move until I'm directly right. over it. So go ahead and roll a stealth check. Both of you, actually, because we've gone partway through. I mean, not that I have to worry about oh that. <laughs> 33. Uh, 30, yeah, because they still have pass the yeah. trace with the underneath, mm. so yeah. 40. Okay. The two of you making your way through, ducking between streets and, and passages, and eventually <laughs> you get to a point where you sense it's almost. <laughs> Did she just yell? Yeah, no, she just breathed. She was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she stressed, she stressed, exhaled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my hand, and I just, it made like a farting noise. Sorry. You, you get about another 85, 100 or so feet, and it's nearly directly below you. Okay. You're about halfway between the edge of the wall and where Entropis the tower is. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tap my foot on the ground and point directly down to you, Kiwi. Directly down. Okay. Doing doing less as I go. Okay, so you swim down? Yeah, swimming down. Okay, you're feeling through earth, feeling through earth. Um, make an investigation check. Not my strongest suit. With disadvantage, because you are currently what? In the blind earth. in the earth. No, I have, I'm I'm awesome. I'm in I mean, earth you can elemental. glide through it, but you can't see I'm through the earth. earth elemental. Mm. Give it a shot. Come on, you got this. Yeah, yeah no Let's problem. Go. Just roll great. high. Roll just high. just Twice. drop it out your hand and watch as a. Oh, yes. Yes. No, do that yeah. again. Okay, do that again. Do it again. Uh, okay, no. no but <laughs> do I gotta count the ones out? Can I roll it again on the inside? No, it works. Is it cocked? It looks cocked. <laughs> What'd you roll? Sure, with disadvantage. Five. Five, okay. Oh. You swim around for about a minute or so I and you're finding nothing. Yeah, 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 I'm wise, I'm not smart, there's a difference. Jesus. Um, so yeah, you're, you're swimming around in there, you're not finding anything. Can I, uh, does she still have the earring on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any luck? Can't, she can't talk. Yeah, actually, I can. Oh. I recently, because it's, oh. it's like mental, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. You don't know where it is? No, I can't find it. Um, can I give her an idea of how deep down it feels like, how far away it you is? You don't know distance, just the direction. Oh, great. And you fail your intelligence check earlier, so you're not quite yeah, you're able to it. consider the changing angle for distance. Oh, okay. But, um, but maybe you're at that etherealness thing. Oh, I was just I thinking could of that, that too. And now I, I can like literally come up maybe and drag Grab my down foot with you. Just pull yeah. So I can would I be able to see the sword though if I was on another plane? Make an intelligence check. I think so, yeah. You just can't interact. It's like, um, you just can't interact. Do I get your thing of plus two because I'm standing next it's to you? It's for saves, not checks. Oh, dang it. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Uh, you don't know much about how etherealness works or what the effects are. You don't know if it'll help or hinder. You're not entirely certain what the effects will do. Right. But you you still have a locate object, and then you just like rub something on you so you could still know. I could have maybe an idea. sense. Oh, it? that's true, and I would maybe? know when I'm it's right on me because I I can sense that much at least. You but maybe and you can still see everything. I can. Yeah, you just can't interact with it. Okay. Yeah, it's like putting on the we'll ring, right? Again. All right, so I... ring? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start slapping it up. Okay. As the oil slathers around you, the your vision of the world becomes dark gray and colorless. Very similar to when Frodo puts the ring on, there's kind of a flickering sense, and the world itself seems to be immersed in shadow and not quite there. Um, all the... You, you watch as all the skeletons that are like soaring through the streets, and your brother all sort of become translucent and almost not there, like these kind of ghostly visions of them. Oh, no. Um, what? It's fine. Nothing. What? Oh, no! Is it like Sauron? Is he going to be able to see me? Don't, don't, hush, don't. Hush, hush, hush. Hush, ignore him. Okay. Okay. Can I sink I, onto the ground? Yeah, I go up and I... Ground's hard. What? Wait. Ah. Uh, yeah. Wait. 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 The ground is hard. Oh, no, we've forgotten about the 60 fucking feet wait. again. Wait. No. 
I'm not. Wait. She's not. Though. She's not sixty, I'm not 60 feet. No, ignore all objects and effects that. that aren't on the ethereal plane. I know, but if you take the ring further than sixty feet away from me, we're blown. Maybe it's but not sixty feet. Maybe sixty feet away. Okay. I'll stay sixty feet within the surface of the earth. I mean, Do we still have another one of those potions? You can come with us. Anymore, so. <laughs> actually, Wait, actually, no. This is a point of order here. Uh, ignores all objects and effects that aren't on the ethereal plane. Um, <laughs> this is complicated. Did oh, we just shit. Fuck this up is like the one ring? of those stupid D and D. Like now we have to interpret what Multiple they mean. Multiple levels yeah, of, no levels, isn't it? But, I mean, it's a DM call in the end, I think, or how he wants to translate. Well, not the object. Can you give? Because like, here's give, the thing. It's a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's technically what happens. Okay. As oh. the as the oil begins to be pressed along your body, you begin to look around and notice as your vision goes gray and everything begins to fade, everything begins to fade. As in on the ethereal plane, uh Fala and Fala, or the, this, this this interpretation of the space is not at this location. So I would just disappear. I would fall. Let's see here. This ah, this is getting really wonky. Would I? Can I cancel it once it starts getting on me? And I'm like, this is uh -oh. not yeah. seen right. Shit might get really weird now. I might just be gone. Well, and allowing you to move through objects you perceive. Move through things. From. Anything that's tactile no, is perceptible. No, that's true. It's not, no, because it's not there on the ethereal plane, it's only on this plane, so no, you can, I'm sorry, this got really confusing. Okay. Welcome to D&D. Um, so, yeah, Tharum Fala is current, is, is, there is no version of it on the ethereal plane. However, which means that currently you can pass through the ground. I can. Yes, my apologies. I need to. Am I, on, I'm on another plane of existence, though? You're, the ethereal plane kind of Layer. overlaps this one, it layers it in a similar way that the Shadowfell does. It's like, it's like a point five. Dark okay. okay. You okay. are actually perceivable, but only to things that can perceive. Yeah, yeah you're. Okay. Well, but the okay. proof is in the pudding, because Anything if that would... ring were gone from my presence, Vecna would be uh, bending me over a barrel right now. Which? He's doing. As you dissipate in the ethereal plane, <laughs> Poor Ashley. This is so stressful. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait no. though. No. Come on. No. no. What? That makes I didn't think no. about the sense. fact that it was like in a different fucking place. That makes so. sense. No. So, as you vanish into the space, oh my God. a little whisper oh. curls into your ear. Vaxel mm then. -hmm. Ah, there you are. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you and your friends. Well, welcome. And that's it. Everybody, back to Chicken Town. Chicken Town, Chicken Town. And I click the boots of haste, and I start booking. Oh shit! Back. You're Don't abandon your. Okay. No, it's okay. He's abandoning. I've got the. I've got the thing. Yeah, it's, it's me. It's me and you. No, yeah. we got this. Yeah. You go. We're good. Go. Go. You're staying. I'm getting so this fucking I'm sword. I'm hearing this over the. the you just, no, no, no. no I just, I, I just heard whisper. that. I heard it. No, yeah. heard no, it? no. Vecna whispered to me. Yeah. I said that to everybody through the earring. Go. She's shouting run. back at me. Nope. Run. But they don't hear you. Run. Nope. We don't not hear them. They know these two. Those two. Yeah. Does she still hear me? Probably not. No, she doesn't. But I heard that. So. You're not gonna go? I'm getting the sword. Go. I'm here now, mm. under the fucking ground! Are you, well, you're, I can't yeah, talk I can't, to you anymore. I'm just floating downwards. I reach up and I grab, you know, I realize can I grab that your Keyleth's shit? not going anywhere, no. and I spot point But down. I can't, hang on, wait. Can you I hear you, can her. I see you, can I nope. nothing with her? No, nope. no. Why did we do this? Then? I don't know. Just keep going. Keep Cause doing it's it. Late. Cause it's late, and this is what's happening, and we're all back at the mansion. Board. We're all sipping wine. And I'm, <laughs> I'm saying, I know our friends going. will come Play back it to Play us. Play it out. Play it out. I'm and I know for that the they won't sword. ever leave right. anyone make here. Another, make another uh, <laughs> this puzzle quest. You get another check. Check. marvelous. Uh, My God, I will play this puzzle quest. Stuck on the surface of the ground. 
Oh, Move up or down? Yeah, you can float. Okay, I'm gonna go down towards where the sword. Don't fuck me, Gil. Okay. Ah. So you glide through the ground. Is that twelve? Okay. All right. That's actually not too bad. Fourteen. Okay. Was that with disadvantage? Uh. Seven. Okay. You're still floundering around. You you have. Vax start off and Vex has vanished. No, she screamed, I stopped once I realized she wasn't leaving. I stayed. Okay. So are you, you just went darting back. Oh. And, 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 you're, and nobody just replied and I stopped because I doubted it and I'm waiting. Okay, are you going to stealth to yeah, of course. Of you? Make of a stealth course, check, but please. I mean, Vecna's whispering in my ear. Uh, 20, uh, 33 and I'm passed without a trace of 43. Okay. Go. You should go. All right. So, um, I come over the earpiece. I say, Vax, you should you should really go because you could compromise all of us by staying here. You should go. Okay. I is, said it out loud. She's currently in ethereal form, drifting down. We should see what happens so, with that. Your, your movement speed, a double movement, uh, would be sixty. Mm -hmm. um, with a double dash, you're moving 30 feet per round because, and when you're moving through the ethereal plane through solid objects and matter, it does slow you to half. Can speed. I sense Keyleth at all? I can't you, see her, right? You can't see her, you can't sense her, but you do sense the sword. Oh, okay. You sense the direction still, because the object is still in effect. Okay. And you're drifting down, 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 about 100 feet, 150 feet. And then as you head down to that point, you, you suddenly emerge, and you can see what appears to be like a small cavern, maybe ten feet in diameter. Looks like there's a bit of rubble. It looks like there may have been uh, a path that led to here that long crumpled and was either intentionally collapsed or naturally collapsed by the movement of the Titan. And as you come into this this ten foot little cavern space, uh, half of the floor is coated in this kind of uh, brackish green fluid, and the other half is just solid rock. Okay. I keep going towards the sword. Okay. You then, it takes you at a slight angle down into the, the liquid, and you're now, you can see the tunnel continues downward. There's a small basin that's kind of, it changes shape as you go down into this murky, greenish uh, fluid. Um, down where there is no light, there is, it is normally pitch black here, but the etherealness allows you to kind of take a little bit of the space in. Um, looking around, you can see that there is just a, a thick, so like residue that is just gathered along the edge, and there at the bottom, you can sense that you cannot see it because it is actually a few inches beneath the muck, you assume, the sword. I can't touch it. Correct. Um, but I know where it is. Okay, can I come up, up into the cavern? Okay. And there, is there any rocky, you said there was rock? Outcropping that I can like stand on. Mm -hmm. Can I get this shit off of me, the oil off of me, or am I just stuck in as an ethereal form? This would be an interesting question. <laughs> it's like LSD, isn't it? It'll take eight hours to go. <laughs> You're in it. <laughs> How long does it last? <laughs> Uh, I lost decisions. the paper, but I'll look it up. I, I've had this fucking tub for. I, I feel like it lasts for an hour. But yeah, I think that's check. what it is. Yeah. It just lasts. One hour. Shit. <laughs> we got to bail on. I got to bail on it and come back for it later, if at all. No, not necessary. Um. Let's see. Where's the stone? I have the stone. She has it. It's a theory. That's cool. This could work. This could still work. Still you guys work. are in the mansion. We're cool. Yeah, we're good. I don't Currently. know if there's anything wrong. So you mm -hmm. just keep tunneling down, and I'll wait. Mm -hmm. All right, make mm -hmm. another uh, check. Investigation? Yep. Come on. At disadvantage? Sure. Yep. Oh. How far did we go from the house of the mansion? Oh, that's hey. better. 13. 13? Okay. Um, you begin to eventually find a tunnel that appears to be just completely packed with collapsed loose rock and earth. It's been long collapsed. And it's going to head like downwards? Seems to be at an angle, yeah. 
All right, I'll keep I'll keep being like this. Seems like a path of least resistance. Okay, I'll glide through that for a bit. Takes you a little bit. Eventually, your spell dissipates. Okay. And I, I'm just so like, it's been an hour. Facts. Oh well, the spell lasts for up to ten minutes. Oh, the locate object. Right. Mm-hmm. Facts. And Vax, what have you been doing? I'm, I'm paralyzed. I don't know what to do, so I'm just hiding, not okay. doing anything. But how far away is have we traveled from the building where we started with the mansion in it? Uh, how far have you traveled from the building? Yeah, from the mansion. Um, you're about, I want to say, 120 feet, maybe. That's fine. Um, as you're waiting there, paralyzed, the voice creeps in once again. But where are all your friends? Why are you alone? That's this shit. Hmm. <laughs> um, you eventually break through the edge and come into the same small cavern that she encountered. You can see the kind of dark green fluid there. Bags. Nope. Bags. Nope. Bags. Nope. Bags. Mm, nope. Uh-oh. I'm here. Do you hear no. me? I'm over here. Bex. Yes. Bex. Yeah. Nothing. As long as it's in. Can you do? Can you like throw a rock or something? Can I you can't do, do anything? Shit. I can't interact with anything. It's been 15 I'm minutes. Fucking standing here. 15 minutes. This is the best. It's been 15 minutes since she took the oil. Yeah. So you have you found a cavern? I found a cavern. Okay, I'm gonna. I well, look around I the cavern. where it was to you, so I described that it was murky water, or muck, muck is what I described you to you. It was luck. surrounded by like silt, yeah. is what it felt like. Okay, so do you do kilos? We need Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we always? Molly, you a danger girl? Kid, it's right here. It's right here. It's right, it might be poisonous water. I'm not sure what it is. Exactly, can you hear me? It's right here. I'm gonna try and just investigate this right cavern, this, I guess. this area. Okay, as make much as I can. Sure. Oh, you find. Am I is my soul at disadvantage now that I'm in a No, you're not. That's cool. That's better. You find a pottery wheel. (laughs) God fucking hell. That's a terrible roll. I'm so sorry. Nine. It looks like a cavern filled partially with fluid. Worst. I I come over and I say, (laughs) I, I say, Vax. Where is your sister? She is on another plane. She's in the ethereal plane. We did the oil thing. We didn't think it through. What do you mean we didn't think it through? Vecna's whispering in my ear. By the way, where is he? Still in Tropis. Still in his spot. Yeah. Okay. So she's not with you. No, she. Uh, she's on another down to the plane. Ground. She's probably near you somewhere. What? Uh, ah! We, Vex. We lubed her up in ethereal oil, and she went down your direction. I can probably hear you. Vex. Vecna can probably hear everything. You begin to hear loud wings flapping louder and louder outside and above. A different sound than the wings of a gloom stalker. Keyleth, you know where to go. I have to run. And I click the boots of haste and I start bolting towards the I'm not going to leave without your sister. I'm not going to leave without your sister. Bye. Okay. Don't go to So are you moving stealthily or are you just bolting? Oh, God. I'm going to stealth. God damn it. Okay. So it's and slower movement, but you're cucumber salad, everyone. So make, it, make another self check. <laughs> Why is it always green? Is it considered a salad if it's just, it's mostly just cucumber. <laughs> there's some, there's right. some dill. My there's some dill. Is I don't know. is different than a sliced pickle. I really like dill. <laughs> you're in a cavern. You can't have any dill. I'm just speaking as myself right now. <laughs> Marisha really likes dill. What does Keila think of dill? Oh, we don't know, do we? Never know. All right, <laughs> cavern. Vax. Fluid's probably like. Ah, uh, probably. <laughs> it's a weed. Uh, sorry, I'm just freaked out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you are. Thirty-five. <laughs> Am I still past without a trace at nope. this point? Thirty-five. No. Okay. He is an astronaut without a ship. God fucking damn it! Just do Gravity. It. Okay. So as Vax. you're stealthily moving along, you can glance over or just keep focusing forward. No, I'm gonna keep going. All right, you just keep going. All right, you move, move. You can hear the wings. You can hear this like horrible, raspy kind of uh, sounds like 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 a whetstone uh, being slid across steel, slowed down with bass. It's this like as I'm probably getting farther away. I say, Kiki, stay underground, please, and keep going. Okay. Eventually, you find your way back to the household, seemingly. 
not directly followed, but you hear the uh, the wings are circling more localized to where this house is. Okay. Um, Keyleth, what are oh. you doing? Uh, I'm in a cavern alone. <laughs> yeah. That's my turn. <laughs> Vex. Vex, give me a sign. Vex, like throw, throw a pebble. If you can hear me, throw a pebble. I sit down on the ground, Indian style, and just like. <laughs> okay, so 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 Vax. Huh, I'm also working this out as me and Keyleth. Vax told me stay underground. Was made a bad call. Sisters underground and I said, near you me. I know where to go. I know where to go. Yeah, he thinks I know where to go. I go over to the muck, <laughs> the, like the, the greenish liquid, okay. and like throw a rock in. What happens? It's a little syrupy, but it definitely splashes. Does it look like acid? Does it look like what we're used to with acid? I mean, it looks brown, green, sludgy. It doesn't look like the typical acid you've encountered, but it looks like a liquid. I just, I eat just like like a you know stony. Just yeah, like dipping dipping my toe in the cold water. Okay. Just dip my toe in. Take two points of acid damage. Okay. It is a caustic liquid. It's acid. <laughs> it's acid. It's acid. Yeah. No one can hear me, but I'm confirming it's acid. I can hear you. It is definitely acid. <laughs> I feel so alone. I've stepped in the door, by the way, the mansion. Oh. Okay. <laughs> two points of acid damage. How's it going outside? Not, uh, not well, not very well. Uh, What's it's the deal? fucked. He knows we're here. He doesn't know where you are or where I am right now, but he knows that we're here. He, Wait a minute. He knows where you are? No, not anymore. Did he know where you were? He did. When did and he did he know that you came you over were. here? Probably. So he knows where we are. Okay. So we have to leave now. Well, we're at least relatively safe here for a moment until they figure out a way to find us and then get rid of us. Yeah, but then we have to leave. Then we have to leave. Or be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Okay. Or we should maybe leave right now. We, no, we'll, we wait a little bit. I think that they could get back. And then what? Then we all have to leave. I go deeper. Yes. Okay, so you dive into the liquid? Not into the liquid, oh. just through the stone, going deeper. Okay, go, yeah. you coast along the outside and you can sense that, you can, that you're, you're, you're traveling just on the outskirts of this, this descending tunnel where the acidic liquid is encased. And eventually it rounds out and, and I, you... And I do another sword check. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Am I disadvantaged again? No, because you know what you're looking for and you're, you're reaching into a space that's that you're That's good, that's so. good. Don't fuck me, Gil! 16. Okay, you reach out and you grab forth and you feel a few things that you grab and as you kind of <laughs> sense them, you kind of poke your head through, which in the process of doing, you do suffer six points of acid damage <laughs> um, and your hands find what appear to be bones. Um, and just glancing through a little bit into the space, you can see the entire kind of bottom of this basin is just bones. Probably a good four to five feet of stacked bones. This was once, or it's been used as a means of disposing of unwanted people. things. I keep, I keep looking. Okay. I can't, I can't leave without a, check. without a vex. And you're just watching at this point. I'm just fucking yeah. sitting on the ground. There's nothing else I can do. Right, that's right. Yeah. Four points of acid damage, and you're finding nothing. You're just rummaging through. Keep rummaging. Yeah, just keep going. Just I'm desperate. I keep going. I'm gonna go. Um, can I go around and deeper? Can I kind of follow this this like this path a little bit? Yeah, you, you can head like on the bottom of it or another side. What do you want to do? I'm gonna try and go like under it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna think if there's a pit of of bodies that have been thrown away, that maybe maybe a sword is somewhere buried under this pit of bodies. Go for it. Thrown in. Make another investigation check. Six. Oh my god. Take Ten points of acid damage. Okay. You can just uh, say, wait it out. I have. Keyleth. Keyleth. Mm. 
Make another check if you want to. Keep yeah, just fucking. How long? And you every been? every like few Early minutes search. ago. Early Thirty minutes. Search. Twenty minutes. Vex. Every, every I'm constantly vex. Checking, yeah. Vex. 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 Still looking under the head of people. Twelve. Okay. So for eight points of acid damage. <laughs> and you reach through, and your hand finally hits something hard and cold within the silt, and it's stuck in the muck. But there's something there that is not what? like the rest of the bone. What? It feels metal. Okay, I I oh. try and earth clear. Earth clear. <laughs> earth clear. <laughs> clear eyes. Make a strength check. Strength. Ever clear. Wow, it's been a long time. God, this one. This is stressful. Oh. Natural 18, 23. Hey, hey that's Well, you take seven points of acid. Wait, no, 24? Okay, take seven points of acid damage. Seven? Yes. You're good, you're good. As you reach out and you grab, and you can now glance through and see, this is the hilt of a blade. And it's stuck in the muck, and as you yank it free, you pull it out of the muck, and it's free at this point. You're surrounded by skeletal bones, and you feel the fingers kind of pulling at you and tearing. And you oh. look around you as a lull of these corpses, these broken corpses, all begin to grasp at you at the base of your begin to. I go, attempt. I go up to the cavern, up to the cavern. I'm out. I'm bailing. I'm bailing with this. Okay, so you're holding. You can't pull this into the rock with you. So what? you're kind of. What? We discussed this. It's metal. It doesn't come oh, into the rock. Right. It doesn't earth glide with you. So you have to kind of. You can glide up with your hand thing. out. Okay. Can't yeah. Thing. I'm. Okay. Well, make it. Beating. Make, make it's like out. go upwards. Make another strength check to see if you can break the grapple of the. Uh, Undead hands that are oh, now grabbing God. and trying to hold you there at the bottom of the basin. Can I see any of this happening? Okay, 21. No. 21, you do manage to break free. Uh, you suffer another five points of acid damage. That's fine. You begin to earth glide your way up. You get about halfway up and suffer another nine points of acid damage. Uh, 84, 70, 76. Okay, yeah, yeah, so go on. And you eventually merge from the top as you suffer another seven points of acid damage. Okay. And Jess managed to earth glide. You watch as all of a sudden the water kind of separates and bursts, and you watch as her earth elemental form merges, its hand kind of coming up through the water, clutching what looks to be a blackened blade. <gasps> Lady Elemental Vex. of the Lake. Uh, okay, uh, uh, um, can I. Oh, shit. Trinket's still in my necklace. Yep. I wonder if I bamp him out. He wasn't covered in oil. If he'd be in the regular plane, or if he would be in the ethereal plane. You may never see your bear. I'm just, yeah, nope, well, nope. if he just oh, playing devil's advocate <laughs> here. You may never see your bear. Again. No, cosmic bear. Not here. Not here. Cosmic bear. Does he become a constellation? He'll look, he'll look like Eternity from Marvel Comics. So it'll just be like this, just the star bear. <laughs> An ethereal bear, or would he be about in the regular plane? It's a big risk. How much time big, is it? Big moments called been about big risk. Thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know how this shit works. I'm gonna bamf trinket out of the necklace. What? I don't know how this fucking shit works. We're gonna break. I'm gonna the try machine. to bamf trinket out of the necklace. Come on, trinket. Come okay. on. Keyless sees trinket. Keyless sees trinket. Best episode. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> damn it. As oh, as fuck. the cold no sense way. of worry comes over you, you clutch the necklace. And there's a flash as you watch Keyleth's, or watch, watch Trinket's form burst from the necklace, gray and shaded, and you see as Trinket just pops out of oh. nowhere. Which, by the way, between the two of you, you guys are like pretty crammed into here to not be in the acid right now. You're both like, mm. 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 Oh, more than Max! <laughs> Can you speak mm. with animals? Vex! This is a rock. <laughs> sniffing around and like. I was basically trying to let her know where I was. Did That's I see? All. I saw him like appear, yeah, appear. suddenly, right? So. Okay, okay. Vex. Vex. Okay, I'm just gonna. I, I pet Trinket for an indeterminate amount of time. <laughs> Um, I, I, I can wait. Can you just chill? I right chill. here, because this is where I am? Can we wait it out? You, know you can. How long can you hold your form? Uh, half my level. Yeah, so you have a while. Okay. So you guys just sit and wait, carefully thinking, contemplating. 
Over the next 30 minutes or so, eventually you begin to watch as Vexalia's form begins to emerge once more into the flame. This was the stupidest idea we've ever had. You heard it! Which trinket is just licking you, your face you're intensely. So sad. You're such a good pet. <laughs> okay. Charcoal drama form is the shirt. That's it. But here's the thing. Should, should, should you glide back to the mansion? I stone back to the mansion with the sword. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Give me the sword. Okay. 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 Wait, I got the sword. Have a sword. I have the sword. Yeah. Is it the sword? Is it the sword? The sword? It is the sword. Tell it's me it's, the, it's what you saw. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know where the I know where the mansion is, right? Vaguely? You can glide yeah. back to the mansion. I can go, 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 go. Yeah. It might take a little while, but you can find your way back. <laughs> go. Okay, go. Okay, I'll see you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Wait, and I'm gonna just think of the stone. Put the bear. I did. I already oh. put trinket back in the fucking necklace. Put the bear. Okay. No, leave the bear. Okay. You concentrate for a minute as the stone's energy fills you. Shh, you flash, and all of a sudden you're standing over the other stone. In the yeah, uh, just, just a couple feet away. Yeah. And yeah, before she leaves, I say, like, do a little tap dance so I know on the outside. Okay. Where the mansion is? I know where the mansion is, though. You know where the yeah. mansion is. I know where it is. Because that's. Okay, I need okay, to get okay, in the okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay. All right. I pick up the stones and go into the mansion. Okay, you grab the stones and dart the mansion. All right. You just kind of paddle through I the. I doggy earth. paddle back. As you make your way slowly in that direction. Um, I'm still holding the sword. I'm like. <laughs> You hear a little voice kind of whisper in your ear. It's not going to help you. (laughs) (laughs) Would he? Oh, he would have. (sighs) Eventually, you slowly make your way to the building. And as you kind of emerge from the inside, you can hear the loud flapping of wings. Nearby, jumping from rooftop to rooftop. I go in the mansion as fast as I can. All right, you dart into the mansion. You guys watch as Keyleth's elemental form bursts into the mansion space with the rest of you. Oh my Good god! Into. I run forward and hug the big fucking stone giant we like cat. This was so and we really need stupid. To we deal so with this. This was so dumb. We gotta. We gotta. Hey, we is gotta she get back? Do you have the sword? I'm yes. So yay. I, I drop okay. four. Okay. Ah, there you blown. go, Rogue. We are blown. <gasps> we have blown. blown. Nuclear. Nuclear. The safe nuclear. house has been compromised. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, he we knows we're here. We have to go somewhere else. He Done. can't. Wear, he can't see us anymore, but he knows where the door is. He knows that you two are here. He doesn't know the rest of us are. Well, he, he knows we're in this, in this vicinity. I think once we get into the mansion, he doesn't know an exact place. So as long as they don't we're figure on out a the mansion. We're plane now. He doesn't know we are in here, but he knows where the mansion is. And the ring is, has and been reactivated. He will reactivated. come to dispel it. So what's so the option? So we have to get out of this mansion, and either make another mansion somewhere else, or go to somewhere else from inside this mansion no. right now. Yeah. We can plane shift. I can plane shift us. Will you be able to get us back here, though? If we rest. To this exact spot. Well. Or to Thar and Fala. If, if we leave from a mansion. I can teleport us back to a mansion with some pretty accurate, you know, it'd be the difference between the spa or the kitchen. What if? But if it's gone. Ah! It's gone. Then it's gone. But then I could still bamf us back to Tharam Fala or Tharza, blah, blah, whatever other city that we just came out of. Worst case scenario, we can leave the gates to There's a moment a with a faint, whining, high pitched. Sound oh, shit. and this sudden thrust. Oh, we're out. There's a sudden thrust of vacuum <gasps> as the mansion around you just dissipates, and you're all plopped onto the ground outside of the cupboard. Where across, crawled upward partway into the building, you see a skeletal dragon standing there. Its claws jammed uh, into the inside. Its wings open, and hands. you see standing on the back of the dragon, finger forward. I know, finger forward, <laughs> just finishing the dispel magic she had cast, Delilah Briarwood, oh, with behind, behind her darkened armor, arms around Silas, <gasps> grinning. Silas! As she goes, oh, glad you could make. No, wait, wait, wait! As soon as you <laughs> gather, 
She's going to attempt a counterspell. Oh, God. Oh, oh shit. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> um, so plane shift is seventh level, right? I can use but my But we're doing it as a, are you doing it No, I'm, but I am doing it as an eighth level because I'm out of right, I'm doing it as eighth okay, level. Good to know. Good to know. I'll be here. Oh, my God. So where are you plane shifting to? Feywild. Feywild, okay, so you quickly grasp. Um, do we have a city in Feywild that we know of that's like safe-ish? Go to the water elemental, the, the, the pond. That's a natural eight. The pond! Oh. No! The pond! Um, Fuck you! The as pond! As she attempts to cast, to, to counter the spell, even at a higher level, um, it fizzles, oh. unable to break through, and all of you, as you watch her hand extend and Silas about Say to dismount. It. Say it. Oh. Oh. Find yourselves pulled out of Thar and Fall. Oh. We're practically gods, let's be fair. We're so fucked. Oh, We're so God, fucked. Jesus. You guys all plop down, your feet hitting the somewhat wet, grassy ground of the swamp where you, you said the, the pools where you first emerged last the, the time? Water, yeah, where yeah. the water elemental is. Yeah, yeah. where the nymph was. Um, yeah, really you guys all land in these pools, looking around, you can see the darkened wood over you, the sound of crickets and nearby insects fill the air, and for the first time in a long time, though your blood pumping would not tell you, a stillness and a peace in the vicinity around you. Oh god, we should turn off our cell phones more often. This feels really good. Oh, oh god. Um, Don't really, really no cool. Sense. Immediate perception check around us. Make a perception check. Same. Oh, 17. Oh. The music just got soups loud. <laughs> 17. All right. Glance about your vicinity, you see nothing that has noticed your presence or seems to be of interest to you at the moment. You'll figure out what we're doing next, and I put the blood axe away and I just start yeah, concentrating hand, hand on sword. this giant Are we fucked? Sword. Are we fucked? Did we did we leave behind a gate stone? Did someone say we no, were leaving? No, I took all the gate stones. I took the gate stones. leaving one as a place, okay. as a marker for Yeah, us, but it doesn't go through veins. As you concentrate so, on the cold right. metal of the weapon, a different but still familiar sense creeps in. Oh, no. Oh. I get the sense this isn't the first time. <gasps> Wait. Well, what? They always remember you first. <laughs> I also sense we have a similar goal. Uh. I mean, could you be a, a little bit more specific? <laughs> we, all, we all see this. Always right? grog with he's, the intelligent weapon. He's not <laughs> snuck off, right? No, you he's just see him start talking to himself. I'm going to come and, and, and sit next to him. And watch. What's up, buddy? Just keep doing your thing. I'm ten feet away. Yeah. I'm not breathing down your neck. Yeah. You all right? Are you uh? Are you? I'm here. Are you hearing anything? Aces. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> We do, we do share similar goals. I don't know if you can hear me very well. Your voice is like barely there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, are you just inspecting it, or are you tuning to that? I'm tuning. Oh no! Okay, I'm locking it in. I'm going to assume I've deduced somewhat what is going on. Yeah, yeah. he's talking to his Out weapon. Yeah. You've all seen this before, and it's yeah. as dis disconcerting now as it was <laughs> last time. Oh dear. Hey, hi. No, we're in hi, on this. Club. This is yeah, fine. Hey, man, you do you. I'm not even Go trying to hide it this time. No, yeah, this is fine. You can definitely hear the sword. Yes. You've got this. Yeah. Yes. Anybody else? No. no. What? What's it saying? 
Oh, it was saying that we have similar goals and that the witch must die and that uh, the lich is a uh, Vecna. Lich, the lich is very emphatic about the lich being okay, Vecna okay. and it's got to die. His yep. secrets, his followers, all of it must topple. You will be my instrument. Oh. Apparently I'm gonna be an instrument and he's gonna play me to topple the followers and his secrets and what does it want from you in return? Anything? Oh, that's a good question, Pot. Uh, what, <laughs> what do you require from me in return? <laughs> Just wield me. Spill blood for me. Bring me to the Undying King and cut his throat with my blade. That's all I ask. That's all I need. He really doesn't ask much. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, average run of the mill, you know, fart stuff. Be true to thy friend, and yeah, um, this one is nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. like a good guy. He's still currently embedded in its scabbard. Yeah. Oh. Reception problems. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay. I like that you grab it by the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons training. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proficient. <laughs> you, you hear the sword go, <sighs> it's been so long. I'm kind of less strong right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is all of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Make a charisma saving throw. Plus oh, two. Oh, shit. Plus two from me, plus a 1d4 from Bless. Yes. Plus two, plus a one d four. Yeah, but minus two for oh. my fucking. So curse. it's balanced. Yeah. So what's your math? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. That's not good. That's great. A legendary weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Are you Did I just lose no. Grog? Okay. We'll say. For the purposes of this, that the attunement is successful. Oh, that is the uh, most yeah. frightening. Uh, does it like have to be though? Yeah. Oh, God. What? Oh no! Oh, oh God. God! He's getting dice. A lot of dice. All right. Oh. A lot of dice. Yeah. That's Not like. All right. You suffer thirty-eight points of psychic damage. Okay. And your vision kind of goes cloudy a bit. You guys watch as his skin color goes from his kind of general stone gray to a more pale white. You watch as his physical body becomes more gaunt. The jowls sink in slightly and his eyes turn a little red around the iris. Um, you also... Your vision goes a bit dark, and the sword just goes. Blood, I need blood. Give me blood. I'm so hungry. And you find yourself standing up with the blade out in front of you. Guys, I'm, I don't feel so great. And I, I'm Make so, two attacks against Vax. That's what I was going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> Vax or Vax? Vax. Vax. Oh. He's the closest one. Uh, I didn't say reckless. Would he make him reckless? Not at the moment, no. Okay. He's not familiar with your capabilities yet. Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, it's a long sword, so I roll a. For the first. Uh, so roll 1d8. 1d8. Yes. Not raging. Wait, I'll use my last luck of the day to make him re roll that. Okay. The damage or the hit? The, to hit. Okay, okay. okay. Worse. 18. Doesn't hit. Okay. Second strike. No more luck. That's even, that's way worse. That's a 16. Oh, yeah. You just dodge both blows as Grog just goes and swings at you what? twice with a long sword. You want to disengage and jump back 15 feet. Okay. Grog, 
Grog, what are you doing? Give us some distance. Uh, oh. I'm gonna be totally forthright here. The sword needs blood. <laughs> <laughs> we can get that for you. Okay, just we, yeah. Not from inside us. I feel like it's trying to take it from me. Listen, uh, Max, uh, so you, uh, who's closer to Grog right now between the two of you? Yeah, you jumped I in front of him. Yep. <laughs> two attacks on Vex, please. Yeah. Wait, Cass! Cass! Is this Cass? Are you Cass? Cass, this is kind of productive. It's it's this is kind of productive. We're all, we're all going after Vecna. This is so stupid. You're ruining your chance of killing Vecna by attacking us. So what was that? 27. Okay. <laughs> Roll 1d8, and then add your strength modifier. 10. Okay. So you take 10 points of slashing damage, and as the blade arcs across the front of your sister, you see a spray of blood, um, and make them your second attack. Oof, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll another d8 plus. Oh, that's only uh, that's only nine. Nine, right, nine damage. Nine points. So as she rears, reels back from the first strike, the second one whoosh, cuts across uh, the shoulder and clavicle area down the arm, and as another spray of blood hits, you pull back and watch as the blade is now currently drenched in, in Vex's blood. It's actually ten because I have to re-roll ones or twos on You're damage. You're a fucking dick. <laughs> there you go. Um, as as the second attack comes to a halt, and you guys are watching him just carve into Vex, the blood and the edge of the blade kind of seeps into it, and your tunnel vision woof, subsides, huh. and you take a breath, <sighs> and you hear this audible <sighs> from the blade as you have control of yourself once uh, more. Deja vu. Your sword is a dick. Tell him he's a dick. Well, it, now listen, this is an ally. You are right, yeah? You're okay. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to punch across the face. Okay. What, Make an what? attack. <laughs> your strength modifier. With my strength modifier? Yep. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> double digit? Uh, 14. Yeah. So she... <laughs> Crack hits you in the jaw. Is it minus? It's minus. It's <laughs> minus. <laughs> it goes. Yeah. Act mm. like it hurt, you fuck. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Why? Why are you not attacking us anymore? Holy wow! wow. Oh my God. God. Oh my it's God. the biggest card ever. That's a novel! That's, that's a fucking dice tray! That's not a card! That is the biggest, blackest sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sword is a dick! That's funny! Oh, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> it all came full circle. It's the episode title there. The sword is a dick. The dick. Oh, Swords and dicks. Yes. Good, bad? Good. Uh, good. Totally yeah. good. As with all good things, comes with a bit of risk. But <laughs> what, what are we if not yeah. risk conscious? Yeah. We're well, risk conscious like people. All the time. I mean Pot even Pike would we, say this is worth it. We just Pike, teleported Pike, to the Feywild. Do you think it's worth it? I mean risk conscious. Desperate times come for desperate measures. How and crazy. call for desperate measures rather. Here's the thing, if it comes down to it, it gets bad, I can I can pull you out of there, hopefully. Yeah. Yep, yep. But, but I mean... <laughs> oh God, don't make that face! It's not off to a good start. I mean, you, 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 you slashed up He that. slashed up me. <laughs> Big man, why did you stop attacking after you cut my sister? Oh, I just got the feeling that it was like, you know, it needs to be fed blood. Yeah, like, did you see often. that? It like look, it doesn't have any blood on it anymore. It like sucked it all in. Yeah, you know, funny thing, that's what a craven edge used to do as well. Uh, oh, hey, um what do I what 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 do I call you? Just like a long pause before it thinks. I have not taken a name but the one that's been given. But in honor of my last master, just call me Kaz. Box Machina, meet Kaz. Kaz, try not to hurt them. Please, I make no promises. He makes no promises. He's very, very forthcoming. This is really nice oh, compared to the last guy. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Kaz. Honesty right. is the basis of a good relationship. Oh. 
He's not polite. 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 He's not yeah, we're gonna we're gonna rock that body real hard. Very well. Shh. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I mean, like there's motivated people in the world, and then there's this Tony Robbins oh, motherfucker. Oh, really? <laughs> like, he is of a single purpose. It's incredible. Just wants to kill that. Yeah, guy. just like wants to fuck him up, Swiss cheese style, Such like in his whole family. That's what else good. is he into? Is yeah. he's, he's, into he's into slicing or? us up. Well, question. <laughs> he wants. So he's blood. blood. He wants blood. He. He. I feel like he. It's good that you have me here, Vex. My experience with these sort of weapons, they are fueled by various, I need a big word, various fuels, and I feel like he needs big. blood Fuel. to, you know, <laughs> be good. Well, could you do me a favor then? Five do you bones. think instead of attacking my twin sister next time and I take a whisper and I go, Shink. can I just feed him for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, that was my also plan. Take 1d4 points of damage. Sure. That was my plan, but you know. One. Oh, you know what we could do right now, just to be careful? <laughs> you just want to drip some on the blade and see if he lacks the flavor. I've already started, so. Blip, 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 blip. It seeps into the dark, almost pitch black metal, and you hear the. Inhale the blade as it takes in the blood and seems to devour it. I guess he digs the other one, me. So Does he ever get full? Oh, well, that's that before, man. It's not, you don't want <laughs> to go went, that way. It went bad before. Yeah, it went all anime. Could we, uh, <laughs> could we... <laughs> God damn it, Travis. Today. <laughs> could you and I have an agreement here, and then rather than wait till he comes knocking, in the meantime, could I just feed him once an hour or so? Yeah, yeah. In fact, any time I take him out with scabbard, why don't you just like hang real close? Yeah. I might just have to like plunge him into your thigh or something. Oh. That seems extreme. <laughs> I don't know how hungry he is. The which principle. Is, no, so, which has a note. This conversation is kind of strange because you're staring at Grog. His eyes are kind of burning a little red, and his the He's visual change is still, still, that, still way? There. that way. Yeah. Oh, it, it did are you away. just always no. like that, man? Well, I need some eye drops. Grog, you need to eat something. You look really Let's gaunt. Let's go get a steak or something. You okay. look like a man. Actually, <laughs> you guys. He's still, mean, he's still muscular, but like all the skin is kind of pulled taut against the bone. I'm really yeah. glad that we're here in in the Feywild. Yeah, it's comfortable here. And it's great. Vassal has and everything. Been fucked royally now or soon. What What are we doing? Okay. Um, oh, I want to see one of those before and after math photos of Grog. <laughs> 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 On the sort of cast. This is Grog. This is Grog. This is Grog. This is Sort of cast, not even once. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The straightest edge. Just say no. <laughs> it's, the um, only, it's the edge of the cut. Dare to keep a Grog off cast. <laughs> wow, way to bring that back. All righty. So what's the plan? Um, oh, okay. What's the plan? All so right. we're in the Feywild, where uh, where there's werewolves and yes. pixies. And your father. No, not, no, he's not, he's not, not anymore. Not anymore. Um, I, 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 I've, I've, I've been thinking about this just, just a little. Um, uh, the, the Feywild, kind of, you know, as, as you know, when we've left before, and when we go back, sometimes time gets a little wibbly wobbly. <gasps> I yeah. don't know that. I aged, but didn't know why. <laughs> that's true, you didn't. Oh, oh, that's right. Time you gets were... a little wonky here. <laughs> there were some things going on with you at the time. Oh, all right. Can mm -hmm. we? Can we? Can we pinpoint when we get back? Is there a way to? Is there a way to control it? No. Oh, I was about to say you've been thinking about it, well, and the answer is no. We can't. But. Do you remember our friend, Garmili slash Artigan? Ar oh, well, Artigan. He was not our friend. He was an asshole. No, he was no, great. He was kind of cool. our friends. I Wasn't mean, he, he was... the guy who sketched us and was creepy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was funny, and he also helped us, and he also kind of enjoyed us because okay. we were weird. 
Yeah. I mean, okay. Basically compared. Basically, also describes you, so I feel like you should exactly. be kind of understanding. Compared to Fair other point. people we know, I lost my house nice. today. All right, so just go easy. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> right, no, you can get it later, right? It's insured. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can also maybe have a second to breathe and have a second to maybe identify that stone we took. Oh, right. Took a stone? Yeah, we got maybe the stone. Maybe Artigan. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe the Artigan stone. can identify it. I take out the blue crystal. Is it still pulsing? Yeah. Very Wait, faintly. why are we finding this Artigan fellow? Well, he's an arch fey. He told us he was an arch fey. They more or less control this realm, or at least have strong dominance over it. He might be able to help us make sure that we're going back in minutes as opposed to years. Oh, you think Time he could do that? Here. He can control the land, the powers of the land. I don't know if he's going to be able to control time. <clears throat> well, okay, time's so. pretty, pretty. It's it's entirely possible that we could just return to where we were, just with only a few minutes having passed. It's also possible that we'll return, and years have gone by, and Vecna's already a god. Yeah. We 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 have to talk to to Ple- Artagen. Plead our case. I bet he can help us. I don't know though. Uh, I, don't, I don't think if, it's in anybody's interest to have Vecna. I, Controlling any of the planes, and perhaps, this is true. perhaps we can. Oh, con- that's true. Maybe he'll want to help if he can. Yes, perhaps. I mean, it's too much of a risk just to go back normally. Anyway, we might as well find him. Yep. If he can help us, and we might still risk. be able to still take a rest, sleep, sleep, and return minutes <gasps> later. I'm gonna cry out. It would be so wonderful. I need to sleep so bad. I'm so tired. <laughs> You definitely have been sleep cranky. It was a, it was a, it was a thing. I'm so sorry that Vecna found us. The ethereal thing was. It was a series. It was a, a backfire. A series was, of I bad was decisions. So scared. I felt so alone. I was not supposed to party, you guys. Don't no, never again. Never okay. again. Okay. How do we get a hold of um? Garmini? I could, I could send, I could send a message. To Garmi? How do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I could, I could use sending. Oh yeah. Everything. Yeah. And we could write a little something and say hello. Oh, we we write Entice it down. Entice him back to you us. You don't just say it. You write. You have to write it down. You have to write well, it down. I have it. Oh. Let's look at this. <laughs> yeah, you, just just you, just, you just spray it with perfume. You just sign the phrase. Oh, yeah. you just say oh. something. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is, this, is, this in, is in dire threat. He wants to write like a naughty doodle. Yeah, draw a little naughty oh, doodle. Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. loves. Send him a dick butt. Oh, yeah. Do a naughty doodle? Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'll allow it. For a good time. <laughs> we'll a Actually, will you draw yeah. something and show it to naughty us on the doodle. camera? Oh my god, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, this, yeah, this just made everything worthwhile right here. The New York Yankees? That's terrible. <laughs> 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 we all wait patiently. Oh this is already going bad. <laughs> is it boobies? Is it penis? I am. I think it's a, it's a bad. Chops, are you, are you gonna be reading <laughs> that, that weapon for like the next week, aren't you? It's a, it's a, a novel. So big. Is this thing gonna kill you? Can you can you read it? Can you read Not it? Not I mean, like that's the rest of the show if he reads it. Like that's yeah. Can it actually kill Vecna, even though Vecna said, like, it won't do us any good? It's going to put me a lot closer to doing that. Yeah. yeah. To killing it's... Vecna? Because Vecna was all like, oh, you can't Ve- beat Vecna me. Vecna is not the, really the that only, invested the only, in telling The only us weapon the truth. that does yeah. as much shit as this does is, like, the closest thing to it is your staff. Your vestige. This yeah. thing is. Just does everything? Bonkers. I. Yeah. <laughs> Go Let me see it! Does it say it's legendary? Okay, okay. Right. what did you wait, draw? Wait, wait, wait. What did you draw, Pike? I can't draw, and everybody, uh, if only one of the amazing artists were here. To draw. So, okay, it's a penis. It says, come see us for a good time. Inside oh, circle. This is Vox Machina, by the way. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Look at his penis. penis. <laughs> 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 it looks like, look like a condomed <laughs> penis. Yeah. Yeah. Photo, it's not too bad. <laughs> uh, oh my God. As you suddenly hear a, a voice behind you, Vex, and you turn and look, and Artagan's right there behind <laughs> you. <laughs> He came oh, right away. Yeah. Right away. Yes. Don't tell people that, Ortagan. <laughs> I'll keep it a secret best I can. Oh, he's 
<laughs> Best I can. He stands there before you in his kind of yellowish green attire with the high collar and his kind of wild orangish hair <laughs> framing his face like a lion's mane. Uh, his uh, pale kind of uh, elfin fey complexion. He kind of smiles his hands together. Well, show me a good time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, I unzip uh, my pants. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't flinch. <laughs> Give me 12 minutes and I'll have this on. <laughs> I am legit out of sheer panic going to take off all of my clothes and dive straight into that lake. Oh. Like fall, well, like that little that little pond. Yeah, the pond. I am washing. I have just had a nervous breakdown. I, mean, I am like, yeah, no, it's it's we're we're naked well, in the water. Yeah. That Flagging is considered good manners. Oh. 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 Eleven minutes from now, I'm going to be joining oh. you, Percival. I'm just in there. I'm just like yelling into the water right now because okay. it's been too much. <laughs> so, have you been? What's going on? Um. <laughs> 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 It's been a little crazy, actually. Um, we were hoping that maybe we could seek your um, aid. Please. Define the request, please. Okay, so you know how time is weird when we go back to the, the, the other plane of existence? Weird. Well, it, it, Time is fun when you go back. Exactly, <laughs> it's so much fun. Um, we're kind of in dire straits over there. Hmm. The world's about to be taken over by a, an asshole that wants to be a god. And we're trying to kill him, and we're here now, and we're hoping that we can hang out here and rest and go back, and only a few seconds have passed, maybe a minute or two. Is that something you can control? <laughs> Are you telling me that you would stumble into this space unannounced? Summon me here under the pretense of a good time, and then request me to bend the very essence of time passage between my plane and yours. Well, uh, uh, we can show we you can a pay. good time. We first. definitely do want to show you a good time about it. And what is your idea of a good time? Unbutton, 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 unbutton. unbutton. <laughs> and we certainly don't expect that to be accomplished without something given in return. Yeah. Yes, of, of course. course. Now we're talking. I could help. You can do that? More or less. Or more, more or less. And what would you request? <clears throat> well, hmm. You all dress very differently than the last time we met. You're doing well for yourselves, then? It's been yeah. kind of a, a hard Pretty day. Much. We have a bakery. Yeah. In comparison it's quaint. Yes. to the world events. Mm -hmm. I'm pretending to be a mage right now, so. I'm, Are you still? <laughs> we fought off a bunch <laughs> of ancient dragons. We've established order back in our realm. I'm kind of unkillable. For a while. That's fun. Oh no. Well. <laughs> Hmm. I'm a crime lord. I can get you really good discount furniture. <laughs> Coming back, sopping weapon <laughs> naked, I must And we've got this weird thing that we found that we're Oh, not yeah, we found sure this about. ball of light. Oh, ball. Yeah, crystal. ball. Of, yeah, crystal yeah, thing. We could we have that too. Tell you what. No one crystal? I'll help you under two conditions. One, should you go back and do this? wannabe god thing you speak of, and all is well, and you're heroes, and you have all of this influence and money, and everything's grand, we can discuss maybe creating a doorway for me. Hmm. That's fine. Back a doorway passage. Fine. I'll come visit and see what strangeness your world seems to have whenever I'd like. I don't know if you'd like it, but... I'm sure I can figure out a way. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's real dicey at the moment. But I'm sure if you succeed, that won't be a problem. And if you fail, well, then I guess the deal's off anyway. Very true. That's true. Very true. Good point. Good, oh, good, point. Man, good man. point. Good point. Good oh, point. Amen. Second, I wish to strangle you till death. <gasps> <laughs> Is it your auto erotic asphyxiation? Oh, amazing! 
Oh my god! Hey, Grog, Grog, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come again. I wish to put my hands on your throat until you expire. If you say you're unkillable, well, that's a new experience entirely. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Will you come back? I mean, have we tested this? Let's be one. Mm. I have one uh, further request <laughs> on our end. Can you send us backward in time? I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Mm. But I could give them a passage good of an try, hour. Good try. Uh, mere passive, uh, passage of an hour, that's an good, hour. yeah. Day for an hour, I think it's a fair trade, yes. Can, can you can you give us like a full day in, in order to make sure that he does come back? Sure. Yeah. Day for an hour. Twenty four hours are yours to do as you like. Can you I ask like come one back question? Twenty four hours, right? Uh, can I can I ask one question first? Will you be pleasuring yourself <laughs> during this? <laughs> yeah, he actually laughs at this. And goes, <laughs> <laughs> this I fun. think the the process will be. Enjoyable enough. Mm -hmm. oh. Couple, since we're making I a, respect you so much. <laughs> since we're making a deal, I want to make sure of a few things. Because oh I love making deals. Oh my God. Mm. Um, first of all, would this also just as perhaps a token of friendship? Do you have any idea what this is? Hmm. I am still apologetically making huh. way. It's a false stone. A it's what? a what? A pulse stone. What is that? What does that do? What's that? It's meant to distract undead. <gasps> Oh, good yeah. to know. Well, how do you good. activate it? <laughs> it just does. It just does. Oh, Thank you. Great. Um, the second of question is <laughs> when we do return in an hour. Yeah. Can you send us to yeah. where are where are we going to reappear? That's up to you. I'm it's just altering the time flow. Do you not have a means of returning? Well, you found the your way. Thing. The place that we're meaning to return to is moving. Could That's... you send us to a? A moving place? Oh, it's big it's enough that it doesn't matter. It's sending us back, and she can. Yes. To go he, to he, can you send us back, or no? We have to send ourselves. He's ah, just making sure that I'm oh. concentrating on the passage of time. Got it. That's Never mind. All right. Never mind. That's a large mm. enough endeavor in itself. I can get us back to Tharamfala on the material plane and great. specify that, but it doesn't specify where we're going to land in Tharamfala. Oh, that's an this is great. Thing. Oh, question. Uh, Art, Artagon, yeah. do you know is if. Artagon or Artagon? Yeah, what's what's up? Take your preference. I'm just happy to have friends. Garmelit. If you must. <laughs> and for and he wings, and for a second you see his form shimmer, and you see the small satyr image for just a moment before it restores to his Sick. grand visage. Another over. strange question: Have you ever had access to our world before? A long time ago. Did somebody block? Can I make your... a? Have I read about this this cat? Is it possible make in an, my make an intelligence check? Oh, just this intelligence modifier. I don't remember being in the Feywild at all, no, you don't. or meeting him. You don't, right? Just straight intelligence. Well, you you you, you, you had you had a uh, it was uh, restored via spell. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Pike but was able to restore, restore the memory. memories. Yeah, as part of the actual okay, effect. Okay. Yeah. Nope. You have no idea. Either. Nope. No idea. No. No. <laughs> no. That was no. I have no idea. You had access, but you were blocked. Things rearrange every eon or so, and the ley lines that guide the paths shift, and uh, I haven't been able to get back since. That seems most unfortunate. You're not going to become addicted to strangling people because yeah. you've tried it on him, are you? I don't know, I haven't tried it. Oh, goodness. How long does he have to be dead in your hands before you decide that it's worked? Oh, he has to just come back. Can I tell if he's lying? <laughs> sure, make a deception check. Uh, uh, or, sorry, insight. an insight check. Yeah. Uh, 18. Lying about which one? Never strangled someone before. Oh, you have no idea? No idea. He's sort of slippery, he's mercurial. Sure, this is the problem with Faze. They don't tend to lie, they tend right. to tell just um, most of the truth. All right. <laughs> with, with a couple of provisions here. All right. One. You cannot say shit while you're doing this. <laughs> He's not allowed to talk? That is correct. Fair enough. I think it would spoil the moment anyway. Two. It's weird. And this includes the rest of you lot. 
Everybody leaves except for Scanlan and Grog. Oh, oh okay. And they stay. W- what? 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 No, I'm all right with that. I don't want to see it. I think that's a fair request. Can I pleasure myself? <laughs> I whap <laughs> Scanlan in the, on the head. Ow. Do I as you like, my friend. <laughs> Just let him do it. You'll yeah, go man. back, right? Oh, Vax is okay. That, that was Liam. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, wait, wait. Kill pulls pulls Vax aside. Just. Oh God. Oh no. Like no. A dog, you gotta pull him off. Oh, yeah. Don't do that, Vax. Yeah. Are you are you okay with? Are you sure about this? Are you okay with this? I'll see you soon. It's uh, you know, it just seems we could we could ask if he if he wants something else, you know. Ask him. I don't think he does. And 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 you'll be back, yeah? Probably. Twenty four hours or so. I'll be back. Oh, but how do we know for sure? Yeah. Guys, go. Go on. Well, yeah. We have no choice, Pike. Skedaddle. This is what's happening. Yeah. We go got ahead. we gotta know. We'll, we'll keep the rule of law. I Pike, pick up my do clothes. You, do you wanna stay too, Pikey? Percy. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna stay if he doesn't want me to stay. Take Keyleth out of here, please. Yeah, absolutely. Wait, 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 no! No, no, no wait, on. wait! Da, da, nope, da, nope, nope, nope. I, I like try to give him a kiss before I leave and then okay. before getting dragged out. Max, I want you to know I've never been more proud of you than I am right now. I want you to laugh your fucking ass off, all right? I mean, I might. I'm just saying, you're about to buy the ticket and take the ride of a literal fucking lifetime. This is fucking weird. You're not here anymore. I'm just saying this myself. This is fucking weird. (laughs) This is weird. The way it's like a weird (laughs) snuff film. This song was set up. Yeah. Where did this come from? How do you feel? Are you nervous? What? It's you keep an eye. Have him drag me somewhere safe and keep an eye on me. Sure. Right? Cup of my head right. on his chest. Is the yes. heart still beating? He'll be fine. Yeah, it's slow. slow. Is it beating any faster? Because he's nervous. Uh, <laughs> a, a hint? Oh. And you have. Still pretty chill. Do you still have a. Do you still have a. Um, a advantage on death saving throws because of a, the thing that we did a while back? Is that long gone? <laughs> Fuck, never mind. Carry on. Do you want us to like hold anything? Do you want to wear your clothes? Let's stop talking, folks. Oh, okay. I'm not there. Yeah. Could you uh, go yeah, and look after yeah. Keyleth, please? Of course, John. See you tomorrow. See in a bit. Don't you do anything else. This is not the weirdest you, thing. You, you, you just strangle him until he dies. <laughs> and then you leave him alone. I wouldn't okay. dream of trying, little one, don't <laughs> this worry. This is not the weirdest thing. Uh, well, this may be the weirdest thing. It's not the worst thing. I'm just kidding. Hold again. This is weird as fuck. Welcome to my world. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I just slowly walk away. (laughs) Okay. So, Pike, have you left as well? Uh, Yes, I'm. I'm gonna honor your 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 wishes, Vax. I'm gonna go swim. Yeah, I'm gonna swim. Just. Everyone Germany, back and off. Ready? We're swimming uh, naked while our brother, my brother's died. We'll no big. Quick. Oh my god. <laughs> We've made a lot of bad decisions. Hey, uh, Grog. Yeah, brother. All he gets no to do is strangle me to death. That's it. All right. What? What about after you're dead? No, you. Mm. No, no touch all. <laughs> no pickle. No. <laughs> Neither Artigan or Scanlan no. are able to do anything to me once I'm out. Oh, 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 oh okay. All right? Yeah. Right. And then just make sure he doesn't lose me in the woods or something, okay? You'll be fine. This. This will be harrowing for you, but you'll be fine. Okay. We'll bring you back. It's been so much fun till now. <laughs> this is an. This is a sacrifice. Yeah, everything you and your life has been leading up to this point. I mean, this is the pinnacle. <sighs> this is great. Don't speak. <laughs> I walk up to out again. All right, fuck not. Let's just do this. You believe this? You really believe you're going to come back if you die? Fair play.
play oh my God. to the immortals. He just takes your throat and begins to squeeze. Just oh my eyes God. locked in. He just keeps watching you. This is so dark. I know. I just step up behind oh, Max okay. just in case he has the involuntary reaction to reach up to his arms just to keep his arms down. Don't. Just locks in. No fear, remember? Yeah. God. Not making any other noise, just continues to apply pressure. Eventually, your vision begins to go dark. I'm so glad we can't see this. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope. And he goes underwater. I'd be freaking out. I look away. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he eventually goes. I, I'm peeking out of the pond. <laughs> I grab her and drag her right back to the pond. <laughs> okay. No, nope, oh, you don't so want weird. that in your head. Okay. And your head, man. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, man, you could have asked for a magic wand or a, a unicorn, <laughs> a pony. It was, it was a, fast, a, fast, a fascination fantastic. with something different and new, and you <laughs> you said. Yeah, cannot yeah. die, and that, right, yeah. that immediately piqued his interest. Yeah, you, 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 sure. You, you Him. Like even even die. the night, even even the the nicest of Fae are weird and oh. have their dark sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, preach, preach, David Bowie. Oh preach. man, yeah. And uh, you watch over the next minute or so as he strangles the life out of Vax. Oh my God. Um, are you hungry right eventually, now? Eventually. <laughs> This is so fucked up. Um, it's just quality internet. Here. I know. Um, limp in his grasp, Garmelia yeah. eventually pulls one hand back, still holds him now, his feet are dangling, goes like, hmm. satisfying, but not what I thought it would be. Mm. At which point you watch as the, uh, the body and flesh of Vax begins to burn to ashes out of the armor. And the armor <laughs> falls oh, to the ground in pieces. Wait, what? Oh god. Okay. What? Get the armor. What? Get the armor. Okay. Well, last time he got disintegrated. Yeah. So we didn't really see him evaporate. Okay. But that makes sense. So I'm gonna grab the. A lot of stuff there, guys. I'm gonna look at Skellin. Is this you? Were you expecting this? Uh, no, not at all. Okay, what? Right, what yeah. the fuck is this? I'm gonna grab the armor if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll scoop up. Of course, the ashes. it's yours. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'll scoop up all everything. Of it. Let's, all of let's go all away stuff. from the group, like into the trees. Sure, Hopefully, sure, sure. they won't kill us, and we we'll, like lay it down. Put it down. Yeah. I'll make a little circle of rocks. Oh, stop it! Stop you it! Know, I kicked the rocks out of formation. You're not there. You're not there. Oh, I thought the heat dragging outside. Oh no, they're in the woods. Right, we're in the we are. Pond. Pond. We're in the pond. I kind of wanted to like, you nope. know, like shave half of his head because he shaved my beard there one time, but there's really nothing left of him right now. I don't think that that would be a good time to do this. As you guys are swimming, um, the water breaks and you see the the still dry hair as it emerges from the pool of Garmili, though he is now undressed in the water as well. Just kind of, ah, <sighs> so that's one deal done. So, where do you wish to rest? Oh. Please. I, I, is it safe to rest? Well, I'm here, yes. Okay. Uh, should we wait? Should we just, we, we need to wait 24 hours to bring him back? It takes 24 hours? Uh, or somewhere I mean, in there? That. I don't know that. Somewhere nobody in knows that. time? How long did it take last time? Uh, it wasn't a full 24 hours, but it was like the yeah, next it was day. That night. Hours later. It was, it was at night. I, I don't, I don't want to leave. It might leave. be a dawn thing. Yeah. Well, we, we moved and he appeared. I think it's... it's thing about dawn. It takes a while out here, doesn't it? Dawn, dawn doesn't really exist out here, it's just a, it's just a rest. Yeah. It's like a Vegas casino, it's always the same it's time. It's always the same time. All um, right, well, okay. Is there somewhere else we could go to? Recuperate. That would be. More, this is pretty comfortable. All things considered. Yeah, this nope. is crazy. <laughs> We're that just getting like the crash test done. <laughs> 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 we get the birdies. I had a whole I fucking think, theme park lined up. I mean, up. we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> is it bad to set up camp right here? I mean, we should. Yeah, yeah let's just set up camp here. We we old, know this old, this area. Way. Of course. And we, please. And he points over, and you look back to where you were on the edge of the pool. And you can see there's a bunch of stumps that weren't there before that seem to have elongated into a little, like chairs and couches and Uh-oh. bits of furniture. Nice. Oh shit. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Are we gonna rest here? One last night. Yeah, but we need to do a, a feast before we go back. Tomorrow. Or tonight. Well, we the thing is it uses a spell, more? so it has to be within a 
24 hours. Mm. That will be the last thing we do before we go to sleep. Okay, but I want Vax to have the feast as well. So, yeah. can we save him leftovers? Do we have to wait a whole day before he comes back? We don't know. We don't know how long it takes. We can try just to wait and see how long it takes and then rest. Maybe, maybe. We have a little time. We have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's just give it some time because... Besides, Garmini <clears throat> gave us his word. <clears throat> One day. One, One day. day. So, okay. we might as well wait a few hours at least, right? Is there anything else we can accomplish here? We can play? This feels weird to just play. Oh, do about yourselves. You seem disturbed by my presence. I do have a question. Mm. Yes? Are you familiar with the werewolves that roam these lands? <laughs> I'm familiar with the werewolves that now roam these lands, yes. Right. Are they around uh, this part? No, not at the moment. You can sense them? Yeah, that was like I super fast. I have an idea where they might be. I know they're not near me. That's mm. all, that's all, that's all, just like, no, no, just, just curious. Hey, Artigan. Hmm? <gasps> does it, does killing a, a wannabe god sound fun to you? Sounds interesting. It would be much more fulfilling than strangling a person that didn't fight back, right? She's got a point. Mm. I don't know. Would you want to come through with us? Get a little tour of our land that you so desperately want access to. It's currently a giant city walking its way towards another giant city. Some sweet action, some stuff maybe you haven't seen before. A skeletonized dragon. A gold dragon. Hmm. Undead dwarves? Cannibal undead dwarves. Mm. Mm-hmm. One-eyed prick named Beckner. I mean, that'd be great, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, oh. oh. No. you have to have a specific doorway. Once you've the door, I'd be happy to join you. Okay, <clears throat> and that's a time-consuming sort of thing. Depends how long we can build a doorway, I suppose, but... Mm. Sounds like a time-consuming thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. No offense to any of you of your carpet. No, we've sorry. had an enormous amount of trouble with doors in our time. <laughs> 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 Very tricky. It's all those hinges. Well, take a time, rest. Uh, food is prepared. You can go amongst yourselves. I'll just be here, splashing away. <laughs> and he, like, splashes into the water. That guy knows how to relax. Uh. Is that how he lives all the time? You I think? think so. Yeah, probably nude. Probably just put clothes on to be nice around us. Yeah, man. <laughs> Silas is alive. Was the food offered freely? What'd you say? Silas. Silas. She uh, said Silas is alive. Silas is back. Briarwood? Yeah, didn't you see him right before we left? He was right in front of Delilah. I'm watching to see if anyone eats the food. No. I was eating all the food to mention. Plenty of food on these like small stools here right. and there. Remember um, what? I don't know what I was going to say. But Never mind. Didn't you evaporate him with like a sunbeam or something? And then we like killed him in a coffin? We killed oh. him. Silas? Yeah. 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 So, Silas, wasn't it Pike that killed Silas or was it you? It was Pike and Kilo. It was Pike you. Oh, that's right. And you I said eat a bag of dicks. That was the bag of holy yes. dicks yep. moment. Bag that's of fine. holy dicks. Uh, that's been a long time. I think, I, yeah, I shot like the beam off of Pike's shield. It was actually, it was pretty dope. So That's great, so he's back. Okay. It's a good moment. I'm not here. Yeah. I'm gonna go over and Just buy uh, Vax's uh, armor and stuff. Just kind of sit there and fluff it around. Okay. <laughs> armor fluffer. <fall through. laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Is there anything you guys wish to accomplish in this time, or do you want to just take time to wait to see if your friend returns? I, I mean, need, what can we accomplish? What can we do? We, there's got to be something we can do. I need to accomplish something. What do you need to do? I don't know. I have a spell, and I can use it before we rest, what but I don't it? know what to use it on. What is it? Well, I can do a few different things before we sleep. I can, we can go out into the woods and find an animal, a big animal. Mm-hmm. I could turn it into something, like a flying thing that we could give to Grog so he could fly, fly with that sword. Like a, a mount sort of situation? Like a wyvern. You can turn an animal into a wyvern. Sure. Any animal. A big animal. 
bigger than Trinket. I would love to turn Trinket into a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> Is it permanent? Yes. Oh, never mind. Is it a big spell for you? Yeah. Trinket, would you want to be turned into a wyvern? Forever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hold on, let me see if I've got... <laughs> speak with animals. <laughs> I don't think I have it. It's first level, I can still do it. Trinket. Yes? Would you want to be turned into a wyvern forever? Say no. What's a wyvern? <laughs> it's like a lizard that's really big that's got wings. Mm. Not so much. Mm. Okay. Just checking, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. It's your choice, darling. Did he say yes? No, he said no. Mm. I knew that, I can speak with animals too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been saying shitty things to my bear, have you? All year. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever listen to him. He's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, or, or, or I could do other things. Like what? I could, I could, I could do other things. I could make it. I could make another compatriot for us to have in battle. I like the. Like part another autogun. Like another Scanlan, or another Pike. Another Would they be fully capable to like cast all your spells? Yes. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh spells. Or I could do other things. <laughs> Actually that last one's pretty dope. Yeah. Two scanlins. Get all your turns, all your everything. I Two don't times, know. whoever you make. I've never done this before. Oh my god, what kind of spell is this? It's a crazy spell. <laughs> do that one. Fuck the flying thing. But if you could fly, could you? Yeah, give I know he hovers and he flies. But yeah, you could bring that sword to his neck. <clears throat> give frog wings, and this thing would not be. I could also get. It's a outfit. real thing. Magic would not stop it from flying. It would be a real thing. A real thing that could be just killed right out from under him. There. Could be. Sure, but I'm it couldn't be dispelled with magic. It could be disintegrated there. Sure. And then grog would fall. <clears throat> right. Can you cast fly on somebody? No. No. I'm turn you into an eagle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not with that sword. No. The option of having a second caster like you or like I mean, you another is Scanlan is another Scanlan who could easily be destroyed. Well, but so easily be? Us. Well, it'll be a magic thing that could be dispelled with. What? If they know it's magic. But you, you just said they have the sight. other thing the other couldn't thing be destroyed. destroyed. That thing couldn't. That would be a different spell altogether. But it would have hit points. <laughs> I still like that idea better. There's other things, too. Like we'll <laughs> say. <laughs> whatever you do come up with. I'm, I could cast a spell on one of us that... Uh, if you died, it would it would activate and it would heal you. Completely? Definitely. No, just enough to bring you back for oh, a few Death points. Oh, Death Ward, I can cast that. Yeah. Whatever you do, I can get me plus eight other people through with plane shift. Eight willing creatures. But my Death Ward would last for 10 days. Someone to be 10 days. Yeah, but... Um, we don't need a 10-day death ward. We need yeah. a one-day death ward. We need Plus, a one. Can we all have our taste? blessings. I mean, not all of us. We have some blessings from gods that uh, will activate, hopefully, right before. Can you do a one-day blessing on turn of us? Yes. yes. <laughs> can you cast haste? Uh, no. Can I I mean, cast? I could, but it seems like a shitty use of... Can you cast haste <laughs> yeah, but if on there's two all of, of us? If there's two of you... And you could cast haste on me. I'd take that over the flying creature. If there's two of me, haste. Well, you with haste would be is nasty. horrifying. It's nasty. That doubles your. It doesn't get me off the ground, but it I means close that if you speed. hit, it's just. I have a hundred, a hundred feet of. It's mass I think last. And another time. attack. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't. That, that I can't. Ca- I can't cast haste. I you don't can't? know it. No oh, shit. <laughs> hey Pike, do you know haste? No. No. That's not a no. Spell. 
Who does? None, None of us have None it. Of us. Mm. Just the boots. Okay. Well, there's. You've got a decision to make. I don't know we've what got, to do. Yeah. We've got sleep. Yeah, so you've okay. got time to think. We'll say for the purposes of the time you have and waiting, hours pass. You're not sure how much time has passed. You've plotted, you've thought, you've napped, you've contemplated this weird bubble of time that now exists, this brief respite, but where it leads you is unique and strange. As you all begin to question and wonder if, does he, is he going to come back? Does he come back here? Last time you saw him, he arrived with you in the Feywild. Um, oh, and he died in the material plane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. That should carry the ashes with you. Oh, right. As soon as these doubts begin to emerge, you turn with the sound of a footfall, and around the corner, hand on the side of a tree, you see, for the second time in this grove, a nude Vaxeldan. <gasps> oh! Yeah! And that's where we'll end tonight's game. Oh! <laughs> For the second time, <laughs> but naked ending! Because <laughs> it is past 11. It is past 11. Oh, God. Man, a lot of weird shit happened that yeah. game. Yeah, shit, man. <laughs> Kinda. Fuck. I have to go home with you. <laughs> I'm sorry! The fuck? It made sense for him in the moment. Yeah. That was, that was, that was awesome. Uh, it was a weird dark shade made, of the fray. So you don't proud. see it. Like, the best that, thing I could so have ever heard you say. Yeah. I wouldn't expect it. it. No. I didn't expect it. It certainly no. made us opening a doorway so we can get into the real world a little bit more questionable. Yeah. But that's the yeah. fun of it. Yeah. How much can you trust any fae? Yeah. Oh no, they're they're monstrous. I'm so excited. Um. Man, I'm sorry the etherealness from bottoms up, but oh like, my god, no, no it was that's great. Just, no, we, so we still we still did it. We still got it. No one died. We sword. came close what? to fucking up that ring proximity thing like seven times, and then finally we did fuck it up. I we knew, knew we were going. It was to. probably an eventuality. <laughs> <laughs> That's Can the awesome. episode title be Dicks and Dicks? <laughs> Dungeons and Dicks. Dungeons um, and Dicks. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for getting some rest. Thank you guys for coming with us to this very interesting episode. Um, we'll return Ashley, next week. Ashley, the drawing was Ashley. amazing. Yeah. Post that shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll return next week, uh, and I think we'll have a special guest next week. What? Uh, what? what? So yeah, Is that true. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Marvel Public Quest. Thank you, oh, Marvel, Marvel Public Quest, for Quest. being Marvel Quest. Show them support. Show them love, guys. They yep. they really appreciate oh it. Tweet at them. Follow them on Facebook. Add them as a LinkedIn friend. <laughs> Sext them. Check their MySpace. Yeah. Sext them. Yeah, send them a bunch of porn links. That'd no, be great. don't do yeah. that. Don't, no. Please don't, don't, don't do that. that. Sorry, don't listen to me. Don't, that was a joke. <laughs> anyway, rest well. We'll see you guys in soon, in a week. And is it Thursday yet? <laughs> Good night. Oh my god! <laughs>